I told you, Mei Ling, leave me alone. You're burning the kitchen to the ground, Maylee. Oh, no. It's, no, okay. it's not there. Interesting. It's though. burning with my love. <laughs> <laughs> the whole school burned down. Howdy ho! Welcome to the Funky Anime Podcast Quarter! Yay! Yep. Woo! Everyone cheer. Shut up, Roden. No, yay! Shut up, Clash. everyone. Stupid Cl- rat, everyone. <laughs> I don't know if that's, my mic will actually capture that. Con- contextually, I, I capt- with the I name of our it. show, yeah. I don't know how I feel about that sound. Hey! Maybe you should stop Look. banging it so bad. Guys, welcome back! Damn. It's been a while. We're I'm back. sorry. I've no. been depressed. Hey, and you know, it happens. It does. It do have. It do be happening to a lot of people these days. Um, mm. but welcome. This is the Funky Anime Podcast. If you haven't been here in a while, welcome back. We haven't either, so that's fine. Uh, but this is the Funky Anime Podcast. We watch an anime every other week, or you know, we'll see. We'll see scheduling. We're trying to figure out new scandalous things. Um, <laughs> scandalous, scandalous. But yes, for for now. We watch an anime every other week. We try to, you know, we'll see how scheduling kicks in, but, and then we review it and we have a good time and we talk and we yell and then we argue and that's it, you know, and joining us today in the funky anime podcast corner, uh, the little rat, little rat looking guy. Well, that's Pino. God, I, you know what? I knew you were going to say that. You said little Oh my god. I, hey everybody, it's me Pino. <laughs> Guys, it's that little fucking rat. <laughs> dude, I be schmoovin', dude. <laughs> dude <laughs> Look at him go! Woo! Dude, he's going He's schmoovin'. <laughs> Buckers. <laughs> uh the 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 little <laughs> That's a good one. Um that little fucking little, little book over there, you know? See that book over there that's it's a book. flapping opening and closing the sheets well that's Could that's garb book. guys he's, you guys can read me like the thing that i am a book <laughs> guys he's Whoa. infused with the power of the clown card <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one see i'm glad we all did it and then me <laughs> the anime girl well that's me chuck how's it going everyone it's been a I got while your, i got your 10 outfits for the next like 10 minutes here for you dude can we all review it and look at it and then Ab- complain absolutely Ab- hell yeah I and then we can be that. sad Eddie. about it when the last ep- <laughs> when the last I, outfit comes out. No, I think I your hat so needs to be bigger. I don't think your hat I, is big enough. My hat's n- who's my hat? Yeah, your hat. Oh, my hat needs to be bigger. Yeah. I feel like don't make it my anything. camcorder. No, <laughs> you're too small. I would I would offer to get it for you, but alas, I am a book. <laughs> I'm a rat. I have no hands. <laughs> yeah, we are, we got a book, a rat, and an anime girl. I got a book. Truly, the tri- that's a good joke. Um. Guys, how's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. I, I, it's glad I'm happy. I'm happy to talk to you guys. It's been forever. I hey. miss this podcast. I'm so glad we're we're schmooping. back. I think I think now that I am revitalized and rejuvenated, I don't think this will happen again this season, unless. Unless, unless, no, unless. Un- no, unless no, unless external, no, unless, unless it, there are external things that would stop me from recording, but we're mm-hmm. going to avoid that as much as possible. Anyway, guys, how's 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 you how's you been in the off season? I know, uh, little rat man, little What's rat up? man. Sure, I'll start. Um, ugh, where I mean, where to begin? Uh, I I took over the Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> it's true he did uh, within finally. that time um and so i've just been posting some fun stuff uh i've been reviewing some of our old seasons uh and then posting them for, as little clips um once i learn how what a youtube short is for my boomer age uh, i will also try to upload there uh but uh yeah i, I also went to a anime convention a couple weeks ago it was pretty yeah. fun um i'm down to do it again 
uh, yeah, it, it was it was just such a, it was such a different uh, it was it's different from the other cons you and you you know us that we've gone to in the past like as a group. So anime cons hit different. They, they absolutely do. do. So many awesome costumes. So many awesome cosplayers. I just wish that I did you didn't. buy? Just kidding. Uh, I love the fact that they were they were streaming um, Kimono Friends. So I went went there to watch. La, 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 la. Um, it was great. I I smiled. The, for the first like three episodes and then realized I should probably be enjoying the rest and of the And you convention. realized you were sitting in a big, <laughs> a big hall watching Komodo friends That's instead awesome. of going to the, the con. That's, That's awesome based. though. It was great. That's it was early crazy. in the morning. I, I I finished my little box of cornflakes and uh, I was, I was, I was, I said, you know what? Serval Chan needs us. It's true. I'm looking for my friends. I was looking for. I left as soon as as soon as the red crested ibis showed up. <laughs> <laughs> no, he had to go find uh, his real friends. Yeah, or rather, they were finding me. <laughs> <laughs> Pino, uh, we keep finding you back in the Komodo friends room. What's uh, happening? <laughs> it's Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> oh no, poor guy. Uh, poor guy. I get real. I guess. Damn. Uh, <laughs> But that's good. Any other yeah. any, what what media have you been consuming? So I've been trying to. Well, obviously, we have a new anime season r- roughly around here. Um, I was wa- Jesus, I'm watching. I haven't watched anything. I <laughs> even though I told myself I wasn't going to, I started uh, Vinland Saga season two and yo hot damn fuck already it's a 10 it. out of 10 for me already i know dude i've read i've read the first couple chapters of that section farmland saga, saga and ain't no joke so, dude farmland <laughs> saga is based dude i pray to god every day for farmland saga <laughs> yes sir uh but among yes, that sir. uh i think well, let's see what else i've been watching let me open my little list here uh nagatoro season two uh oh, that's right checks out uh, is it, tomo chan is, is a girl I have seen some of Tomochan that's based as hell. It's Very so based. good. And then I've been actually, I finally, go, I'm hopping back on my bleach wagon. I'm on my bleach bullshit. <laughs> uh, bleach I've got, wagon? <laughs> I've got my 66 episodes left before I can start the actual news. Oh, <laughs> um, Pino, question actually, since Yo. you've been watching Nagatoro. Mm-hmm. How have you liked the OLN? Because uh, this season's done by a different animation team. Yes. How does it look? It's... Surprisingly, uh, I think that it holds up really well. Um, you can tell it is different from the first season. Mm-hmm. However, I do think they're still as passionate as the um, as the previous team. Um, mm-hmm. I think it's still very consistent. Uh, I think maybe episode one you'll notice it a lot, but you know after you know a couple episodes, I think we're nine episodes through. in. Yeah, you get through it, and I think it even improves. So sure. it's great. Okay, good. Yeah, we well, don't want well, another just... One Punch Man situation. Well, mm-hmm. well, that. But also, I think it's funny because the second season is actually being done by OLM, who did the Berserk, uh, oh, yeah. anime, the nineties yeah. Berserk, and all the Pokemon and crazy. So right? it's <laughs> yeah, no, dude, I was just bringing it back all together. But yeah, yeah. that's uh, that's it. Uh, any other things before we swing it off to the other man? Uh, Fortnite Battle Pass, uh, Dead by Daylight. That's about it. Nice, fair enough. Garble, yeah, dude. I have been keeping up with my manga, but the Near Automata anime is <laughs> it was also delayed, and it there's finally... a lot of that this season, right? Like, yeah, it's rough. Uh, see, we're just in in theme with the anime, right, guys? <laughs> Right. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah. so it's been okay. You, if you're interested in Nier Automata, play the game, and mm-hmm. and maybe watch the anime later if you're still not satisfied. After. But yeah. I've also been still keeping up with Chainsaw Man. Still good shit. And Dragon Ball Super manga came back, and oh, we yeah, get another yeah. high school arc. Which yes, I'm I'm kind of into it. It's pretty silly. And I love that's all, that's all we've asked for. <laughs> yeah, and so we get Trunks and and Go Ten. Oh, and what? Yeah. Okay, that's awesome. Actually, I forgot. I didn't realize yeah. it was Trunks. I didn't think of them. <laughs> you yeah, can just you skip the rest of Super. You can just start this that's, arc of Super. Well, because I that's I fucked up. Because you. no, well, because I. <laughs> I stopped right before the Tournament of Power, and I feel yeah. like I just need to watch Tournament of Power before I do anything else in Dragon Ball yeah. Super. I mean, you can, well, you like, can skip, because the, there's been a couple other Super arcs past Tournament yeah, of Power, yeah, yeah, yeah. but... I'll skip those. They were okay. Yeah, you, you can skip those. It's, it's not like JoJo I've, part skipping. You, It's fine. Just what, was, what, was, uh, what was 
uh, Vegeta's new move, his his new form, ego or whatever the fuck it was. What the hell? Oh, oh no! (laughs) Ultra ego is is yeah. Ultra ego of of that Vegeta form. Yeah, it's so funny. It's so and then he got his ass beat like as soon as as he did. So so fucking yeah, because it's the ultra ego. He My ego is so ego. big, I'm taking the biggest L right now. Oh. Truly. Oh, Beerus, no! <laughs> Beerus, what stop me, was... my ass! Beerus, the, it'll alert the guards! <laughs> Watch me hit this gritty Beerus. Beerus! <laughs> I do have the Beerus skin and Vegeta skin in Fortnite. So. It's nice. <laughs> Dude, I hit the gritty. It's fun. I wish anyway, I had the gritty. That's, yeah, that's been about it for me. That's Yeah. Other than yeah. video games, but... Yeah, yeah, dude, video games go piece. hard. Yeah, yeah so. that's a lot to talk about. But, what about you? Uh, you said been, you hadn't kept up with much. I haven't like, done like, anything. I've yeah. been so sad. I've been watching YouTube. Uh, I did, this was months ago at this point, uh, but we're up to, we, we watched up to season six of Community, and then we just stopped because I was like, I've been putting off Card Captor. <laughs> and then Dang. I put off card capter for another three weeks and then I finally watched it. Um, but that's good. Community is really good. I feel like season four is really good and everyone hates it. And I think it's fun. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. It's a very controversial like, one. I feel like people suck. Um, but, uh, slowly been getting into magic, the gathering, uh, playing video games. Just bought the new Kirby game. Oh, the, the, oh remake. The, the remake of uh, it's Return? super fun. It's wow. super fun, dude. Well, p- download the demo. The demo. I, mean, I, has I like, own it for Wii, so I was yeah. thinking about getting it for Switch. Dude, it's great on Switch. I like we the new do D&D online. design. I don't. You don't, I don't like, like you the don't new like You don't like little Chub Boy? I love Chub No, I like big Chub Boy. Big DDD. I like no neck D. No, he got to be like, I like muscular DDD. When are we getting that again? No neck D. When are we getting that? Uh, clip that. Jeez. Clip it, guys. Clip it and ship it. Uh, Is there? I don't think there's. Uh, I don't think it's online. Circumcised. No. Uh, that was the uh, joke. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, we got the joke in. No. <laughs> that, yeah. I didn't want to acknowledge it. Thank you, Carbalax. Congratulations. Pino you, can just, Pino, you can just. Congratulations. 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 No, but Pino, you can just come to my house and we could play. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, you're invited over. Um, But yeah. I haven't been doing a lot because I've just been sad and life has been hard, but it's okay. We're back. We're swinging, feeling got, better. I, I am on antidepressants anime. and I'm on antidepressants. Don't forget. We so love that you. helps. We love it's you. Just oh, true. Oh, I love you. Oh, oh. Anyway, mm. guys, card capture Sakura. The patrons picked this one. They did. Yeah. And <laughs> I know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I would so sorry. Once again, I'd like to say this before we go any farther. I'm so sorry with the delay. Don't blame the other two guys. It's completely me pushing uh, it off for quite literally like two months. It was bad. Don't you don't was, you, don't blame him either. You know, look no, out for your health. Me. Health is always blame important. me. It was I was just being lazy. Well, no, I was depressed, but also lazy. Anyway, I would like to I would like to thank uh, our patrons just because you guys are based. I'd like to thank Cosmos, Mega Lazy Dude. Uh, Cream Puff and Greta, thank you guys for being our cash money Let's winners go. of the of the uh, of the universe and being able to hang with us. And if you want to help support the podcast now that it's moving again, um, you can uh, support us on Patreon by going to patreon.com slash three a wee bros, T H R E E A W E E B R O S, three wee bros. Uh, you can find us on the now active Twitter. Uh, that's also three wee bros, T H R E E A W E E B R O S on Twitter. You can find our website, which is not through Rose. It is the funky, it is funky anime podcast.com. Uh, and if you want to send us any questions or anything, it is either funky anime podcast at gmail.com or contact at funky anime podcast.com, whichever you prefer. And finally, 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 if you have any suggestions for the show, please send it to Medica at FunkyAnimePodcast.com. And if you but forget yes. any of that, you can just go to the website. If you or, forget, <laughs> or just rewind or, it. What are you or doing? just rewind it. True. What are you, come on. The movie's not over. Turn it back. <laughs> um, 
but yes, this is, uh, that was my big old plug. Uh, anything else we got to plug? No, uh, you, you, you plugged that masterfully. I'm, I'm excited to gaming talk about on Twitter. Character. You're Garbalax on Twitter. It's true. I, I know Plan 2 on Twitter. Is You're that really what I am? Two right now. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I didn't even know that. You play, you changed I'm on Tumblr it. now too. Yeah. He is on, I am also on I've Tumblr. I've returned. I'm Chuck Gaming. I'm st- I never left. I never had but a yes. Tumblr. <laughs> you should. It's good. I love Tumblr. Um. Anyway, Card Capture Sakura. Woo! This per so I will. I'll, I guess I'll start out uh, just talking about it since I'm hosting. Uh, let me pull up the list. So we are, as you may or may not remember, we are in the 20th Century Project, in which we are. This season, season five for the podcast, we are only watching shows that came out or that started before 2000. Mm. So if the first episode of a given series aired on December 31st, 1999, that would count. But if it was on on January 1st, 2000, mm -mm, Mm -hmm. no, no no dice, no dice. I'm glad that we had to prove ourselves, though. (laughs) This is this will be fun. (laughs) <laughs> no, but yeah, I really I think this is going to be a very interesting time and card capture specifically. Uh my partner, Joan, who I love very much, they uh Card Capture Soccer is one of their favorite shows of all time and uh this is this has been a long time coming since we've been dating for almost 6 years now. Uh they've always told me about Card Capture. I've watched like an episode here or there, but like not more than 2. And Joan so, even gave me a card captor shirt, and I was wearing it this You've whole worn time, a... n- clueless. Clee didn't know. <laughs> he didn't know. He didn't know. He but didn't know. Uh, so I finally have been able to watch it uh, for years and years, and obviously I've known about card captor for even longer. But you know, just never got around to it. Uh, Pino, what's yeah. your? Do you have any prior experience? I'm going to be honest, Chief, I have no idea what this is about. <laughs> I Originally, nothing. I think the only maybe exposure was I vivid, I not vividly. What's the opposite of vividly? Vaguely? I vaguely, vaguely. remember uh, driving home uh, from campus one day, taking a friend home as well, and we were just listening to Spanish uh, openings of as uh, you do. An- old anime, and I believe this one popped up, and I oh. immediately skipped it. <laughs> <laughs> I, Tragic. I was very Tragic. i was very disrespectful but that was just for the memes i was like oh cool next wow but yeah that's um, the only other thing i know interesting grundle max just the shirt that's it <laughs> that was it it's a it's a cat captor sakura shirt oh uh-huh. <laughs> if you want to steal my look <laughs> steal his uh, look steal Ooh. his look yeah. um but yeah, now that we got a little bit of background, let's let's talk about Card Capture Sakura as its own thing. So, Card Capture Sakura is an anime that was made by Madhouse. So, you know, we all know Madhouse. They did Hunter Hunter, they did Monster, they did Death Note, they did Hajime no Ippo, they did One Punch Man, they did Beck, they did Diamond No Ace, they did Death Parade, they did Black Lagoon, Trigun. Holy crap, Jesus. Yeah. No game, no life. They They're did. The big dogs. Uh, yeah, dude. They did I, Ore Monogatari. They did. They did all. Of, they've done a lot, and this is a classic from them. This is. Let me see. S- filter by newest and do it the opposite direction. I can't do that. <laughs> Click the end key on your keyboard and no. go. No. Of the so page. this was. Funnily enough, this was the the thing that was produced. Uh, during, yeah, both Card Captor Sakura and Trigun, both made by Madhouse, were both aired starting at the same time. Wow, that's which awesome. Which is really funny. Yeah. Just to give uh, you some some time frame. And also, classic Trigun shout out. Love that anime. Um, But yeah, so made by Madhouse. And this is based off of a manga, which, is, which was written and uh, made by... The artist uh, collective known as Clamp, Clamp. which is which uh, just for those who are unaware, they are an all female Japanese mangaka group that formed in the mid 80s uh, has four. uh, They have four members currently. uh, 
and yeah, there are still members. Yeah. yeah. What other? What else so, have they drawn? So we've 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 actually seen one. Code Geass. Code Geass is a. That's clan right. Yeah. Special. The fucking power couple, right? But they, yeah. But they've also done a couple things that we have not seen. But they're I'm thinking of. Uh, Clamp is very much a kind of cult classic type of deal because like Tsubasa Chronicles is another one which is actually pretty interesting because uh, there are two characters in Tsubasa Chronicles which is a different series by Clamp but two of the main characters are literally named Sayorin and Sakura and they are like they are based off of and it's kind of like an alternate universe type deal and there it's it's crazy i joan isn't here right now to back me up on all this jo, I'll, I'll ask joan when maybe in miscellaneous if they're here by then um regardless they've done a lot they did tsubasa chronicles they did xxx holic and code kiosk are their big ones also the the comic where Kakuyoin lays an egg that was also Clamp, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, That's crazy. I always thought that was just a meme you guys used to say, but no. <laughs> no. Lo and behold, he lay <laughs> that Clamp did it. No, no, it's no, it's literally it was literally called Clamp in Wonderland. Uh, where that's the best name I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, and they and they and they made JoJo's Bizarre Married Life, which is a boys love parody of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, which. Uh, includes that sounds fucking awesome. Have you not read it? No. Oh my! After this, we'll we'll talk about it. But regardless, it's this was made around the peak of. Sorry, this is a different history lesson. But this was made around the peak of, uh, Jotaro, Kakyoin, all of the okay. part, part three, three guys. Gotcha, this is a gotcha. huge part three moment, and literally, Kakyoin like lays an egg. And oh, it, that's what yeah. that's from. Yeah, Kakyoin lays an Ooh. egg, and then literally the Ooh. the egg hatches, and it's a little Jotaro. It even has a little hat and a Kakyoin, little. Kakyoin, did you lay this egg? <laughs> no, literally, that's I. It's 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 peak. <laughs> anyway, I would highly recommend anyone to look up uh, JoJo's Bizarre Married Life. It is great. I would highly recommend if uh, people. I'm just gonna link it the patron just so everyone knows just so Holy everyone can shit. read it too it's incredible anyway i would highly recommend you check it out after after this episode yes don't don't you dare turn away i don't like this turn, i'm turning lesson, away no ah this was good no turn them back no, around yeah. i'm a book i can't i'm slowly turning but, back around because i am a mouse but, i mean i'm a rat but but yes clamp is a very uh well-known very well-established um, group of creators and also notable for in a very male dominated uh, work like, excuse me, being a mangaka, especially back in the 80s, that this group was very progressive for its time. And also all of the stories that they created were a lot more inclusive. Like, obviously, you see in Card Captor, there is. A lot more boys love slash Yuri slash gay tendencies, both gay Yuri and Yaoi and all that shit. You know how it is. Um, regardless, it's very cool. I would also recommend people if you're more interested in Clamp, if you haven't seen Code Geass, that's um, a great way. But also, if you've watched some Card Captor, I would recommend you uh, to do the Subasa Chronicles. I feel like that would be pretty fun for anyone who's a big fan of this and hasn't watched that yet. Right. Also, the manga's good. If you want to read the mangas, they're all original by Clamp. They look phenomenal. They've just got long legs. So <laughs> I like long legs. That's, uh, no, it's, it's good. Code but, Geass is the most notable feature. No, Excellent. the thought elevator was the notable. Uh, how uh, can I bring it about? How could you thought you elevator. You thought I wasn't going to bring it up when you mentioned it like the first three times. <laughs> yeah, no, you're so close. No. I, I, I could hear, I could hear you edging and screaming. I... <laughs> <laughs> That's what this podcast was really all about. Yep. <laughs> edging and screaming—is that what we've done? I mean, we're called fat for a reason. <laughs> it's true. Um. One other thing I would like to point out before we 
uh, go anywhere else. The producer, the main producer on this movie, uh, Yutaka uh, Maseba, uh, and not movie, it's a show. We watched the show. Don't worry, I wasn't um, going to judge you. I know. And I had to say it because someone would. But uh, this guy is also kind of a fucking legend in uh, anime. They produced all of the Sailor Moon TV uh, anime back in the 90s. They did. uh, They worked on uh, Kira, but not for the actual release. It was a different release. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a huge deal. Obviously, did Card Captor, did Code Geass. Um, they did, they actually did the, uh, the anime for, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Fist of the North Star. Okay. Oh. So, uh, and they've also done, like, there was one other, they did, they did the Lupin release for, uh, I can't remember what release it was, but. <laughs> There's a lot of Lupin. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like. It's like it's producer one of them. animes, and I'm like, hmm, I don't think you actually produce. It. It's a one and of the also, thirds. And then also the Yu Yu Hakusho movie and Trigun. Anyway, Interesting. I, I'm and, big, and the Big O, uh, another classic. I'm that. Yeah. I felt like that there was going to be some overlap with Sailor Moon, but having a producer nope. in common, that makes sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is good. Well, actually, yeah, because this came out after. So that's good. Um. Mm. Anyway. After that more comprehensive history lesson than I ever thought I would, um, <laughs> I'm here hey, for it. Hey, man, I love it. It's been that. a while. We're 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 shaking it up, you know. It's true. I this is this is lore relevant information. It's true. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I guess now that we've talked about the history, we've talked about prior experience. Let's go into that presentation, shall we? Yippee! So oh, this show looks so good, guys. It's. A late 90s show from Madhouse. How is it not going to look good? You know, like you still have all that fantastic, crisp 2D animation that was like truly like some of the peak at that time. So obviously it looks super nice here. It looks Mm -hmm. great. I love it. Something I enjoy, which originally and most of the times that I hate um, the style of the characters, you know, how like they've got like very small noses, small mouths and Big ass yeah. eyes. This yeah. time, it wasn't as jarring as all the other images I've seen for other types, similar type shows. So I'm glad that it was, like, it it was, was definitely toned down. It was yeah, toned absolutely. down by Madhouse. Well, because you can look up, uh, and you can you can see this uh, more so in the new the uh, so they adapted the last uh, like arc. I think it was the last arc, the clear card arc. Mm-hmm. Um, for, uh, recently within like the last 10 years, I can't, it was the last couple of years, I think, um, regardless, but those designs are, they stray a little bit more and they're a bit longer legged <laughs> mm-hmm. and it's still fine because the art's still super good and it looks great, but, but it's signature clamp and you can't, you know, you can't mm-hmm. have clamp without having a silly little, uh, I agree. Yeah. So little legs. Exactly. Um, Backgrounds look phenomenal. It looks great. I love all the hand painted backgrounds. Looks super good. The action sequences, the uh, specifically the card sealing oh, and yeah, card man. using sequences are fantastic. Which, I mean, really, they only had to animate it once. So what well really well got good. me were two things. Yeah. One that there are so many detailed outfits that are so particularly animated they they went hard on those yeah and it that must take so much work to get all that reference material it's mm-hmm. it's insane yeah. <laughs> I, I couldn't believe it and mm-hmm. i was i was blown away and and to compare this to another magical girl show so sailor moon They reuse the transformation animation multiple times per episode, right? Oh yeah, bro. It's usually usually once an episode. I I know. I'm gonna. I'm I'm gonna tread lightly, my friend. I know. I'm. (laughs) I'm. Joan may not ever forgive me for the things I'll say this episode. (laughs) I may never forgive you. But the fact that every time Sakura transformed, it was unique. 
and well, a new do new outfit every time. Well, like, just, I would I would like to point out that they still reused most of the animation. They just had to change Sakura. They didn't have still to. Still a redo. lot of work. I mean, no, that's the definitely. Most I'm not intensive part. No, believe me, I'm not. I am not trying to diss it. I'm just saying that it is not as big of a jump as. You know, a completely new animation each episode. True. But I mean, but yes, it Sailor still Moon looks literally copy paste the exact but same thing every time. The other thing, Sailor Moon's iconic. Sailor Moon's based. Well, so. the, the thing is, I'm also comparing Madhouse Ooh. to Toei. Yes, it's kind of it's a losing batter, battle for yeah. sure, dog. But so, yeah, yeah, it looks great though. I fucking love Card Captor and how it looks. It looks fantastic. I was impressed. It's so cute. It's you, so cute, dude. You'll live another day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do. Well, now that we brought it up, I do specifically want to talk about these outfits because, yeah, you know, the peak of most uh, women-led manga and anime is that the outfits are always on point. Like, some might say on fleek. On fleek, the drip is insane. <laughs> so drippy in her outfits um, absolutely but i really do love how all the characters look in this i like all their uh different designs as well as their different outfits i feel like obviously you get to see sakura in a lot of different outfits but lee has a couple of different fits yeah true and uh, and everyone just kind of has like their even caro little caro barrels has his own little outfits whenever sakura changes so it's really nice mm-hmm I think it's good. I really, I like that. It's cute. I mean, it blew hey, me away. Thank, mm-hmm. Thanks to the friend, of course. She's, she's painstakingly put them all together. It's yeah, true. Dude. Tomoyo's based. I found that I'm interesting, somewhere. though. I like that part. I know it's not really, like, the section we're on, but, like, the fact that it's not, like, she doesn't transform and the and she ob- obtains a suit. Somebody yeah. No, yeah. made the suit. <laughs> yeah. For the yeah, occasion. I thought that was great. In the show, no, it, there's an explanation. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's I great. Love I love it. It's so, it's very nice. And also, it's just cute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's real cute. Um, but yeah, any other animation type discussions besides it looks based as hell? Very expressive, especially uh, mm-hmm. on certain. Uh, <gasps> oh yes, charismatic oh. characters. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> Mei Ling's faces. Yeah, th- there are very <laughs> expressive art in this, and it's great. I love it. We had we. I remember me and Garb. We specifically bonded over one specific. Yeah. Uh, mailing angry face we made into yes, an emote yes. for the patrons so i, I did see that if you want <laughs> that mailing emote one dollar is all it takes to get one dollar to get to get mailing angry <laughs> um, we're not sellouts i swear <laughs> i mean a little bit if you give us money it makes it easier to do this but it, makes it, uh, easier. it does true uh but now that we've now that we've talked about it, let's go into some voice acting, which I think is actually pretty interesting <laughs> because I know you guys watched the entire thing dubbed. Yeah, I, I maybe mean, watched. I think I, I watched episode one subbed and then the rest dubbed. I watched probably the first ten episodes or so subbed. I watched so I one episode really... in Spanish. Cool. As you do, <laughs> as you do, Pino, obviously. Um, how do you guys feel about the dub before we talk into this? The it sub, was shit, and I loved it. it. Crispy, crispy nineties so, uh, dub. Like it's exactly well, what I expected. Well, here, let me. Well, I completely forgot about this. Um, ter, uh, Sakura dub history. I mean, I so kind of exaggerated is, that for the bit. I it obviously isn't great, but it was still no. hysterical. So there's something pretty interesting about this. Um, oh yeah. So initially. The first time that Card Captor Sakura was dubbed in the w- in the U.S., it was dubbed by the infamous Ocean Productions, ah. who you obviously know from many a thing, mm-hmm. including Mobile Suit Gundam. They did Dragon Amtaro, Ball. They did Dragon Ball. They've done a lot, and they what they did is that they basically edited it down so much, changed episode order. It was crazy. What? And no, literally it would. And they named it card captors. And just card, so what, just card captors. Yes. So wow. what they did, this, this aired on WB kids, uh, with, with the dub, which 
is awful. It was so heavily edited. The episodes were reordered. Some were left out entirely. Uh, and editing of the dub was to refocus the series to be more action oriented for male viewers. And the f- <laughs> no, literally um, the first the first huh. episode that was ever aired um, in this original like edited dub was Sakura's Rival, the episode where we actually meet Lee. What? That's like yeah. bajillion episodes after. <laughs> episode eight is that's what crazy. That's still a lot. Yeah. No, and they cut what it the down, and they cut they episodes thinking? together. Uh, um, well, I mean, that sounds typical of uh, yeah. The version, the version ran for thirty nine episodes when there's actually seventy total. Jeez, Louise! And but then later, an alternate English dub was uh, done by Annie Mac Asia in Hong Kong, Annie Max Asia in Hong Kong for Southeast Asia, and then this dub is fully uncut, used the original character names and music, and same story. And so this was finally released in Blu-ray and DVD and was released in America. And it's now on Netflix where you can watch this dub and you're not going to get the bad one. So no worries about that. We love this dub. Yeah. And this is the first and only dub produced for Animax Asia to see an official American release. So it's pretty interesting. So that's why it's a little funky, obviously, because it's, you know. Yeah, and you can tell there's a couple times where it's just a voice actor talking to themselves whenever yeah. it's like, um, who's the kid everyone has a crush on? Oh, Yukito. Uh, Yukito. Whenever Yukito is talking to the teacher, you can tell it's the same voice. Yeah, <laughs> and he it's like a lot just, of the stuff. Yeah, so they're just talking to themselves in the booth, which I think well, that's hilarious. Like, that's impressive, though. Well, because yeah. like, uh, let's see, like Sarah Hauser did uh, Caro did a little bit of Tomoyo at the beginning, did Malin Lee, you know, it's like, uh, did some of uh, Rika. It, it, it's just a little silly that. I mean, that's that, how it was back in the day, you know, you, you needed yeah. uh, multiple voices and uh, you had the talent. That's right how there. you do. Yeah. Yeah, Cause yeah, it's cause hard it, to dub something, especially yeah. back before, you know, when, before digital, yeah, and, it was dubbed. You, you know, to match the lip sync, that that was hard. And if you already had people that were skilled at that and trained at that, it's it's just so easy. Just to, well, because they the they people. recorded it somewhere between two thousand and four and two thousand and eight, mm. uh, which is ages after it uh, initially aired. Yeah. But right, uh, it's it's just very interesting. This is a very interesting and unique dubbing. So once again, this is all about the trivia. I'm the trivia guy, but I do like the dub. It's silly, but like it feels right, you know? Like yeah. it's Oh yeah. I would never I would never say it's a good dub. I yeah. would not say it's a good but dub. But it's a hella entertaining dub. But it is entertaining and it totally fits like the era and vibes that like I would expect for this yeah. dub, you know? It has that like crispness. That, like, you don't get anywhere else unless mm-hmm. it's a shitty dub. And so I liked it that way. And it made me feel like I was watching it, you know, on WB Kids or Four Kids or wherever the <laughs> fuck dog shit we're watching it. But it actually has all of the correct themes. Except and- it was mostly good. Except for that one part where they just... Co- actually, that, that was interesting. Where, what? Pino, I think you and I were talking about this. Where Lee was confessing that he had a crush on yes on uh, on yukito yeah and, uh, and was the what you were watching it on netflix right i was watching yeah. on crunchyroll crunchyroll okay tell me what what crunchyroll did so crunchyroll it just um automatically flipped on to subtitles and they just cut out the voice acting there was just That's... no voice so part. what what happened to me, my netflix which was i was bizarre because i was just like oh, netflix is, is shitting the bed uh that part happened it flipped to the sub like it started they they started talking in japanese and we would only i would only be able to read the captions and i was just like well, hold on let me just let me just let me make sure i'm like on the right settings no i was on the right settings they just they just had to fill in that with uh, with the actual you know original uh, dub so, of it so it was wild to me what we've pieced together is that they just didn't dub that part yeah. i'm mm-hmm. guessing that it was just controversial or something I well i don't know it's, the, it's do you know still, the details chuck i don't actually i feel yeah. like though from what i can tell it's almost entirely because they're like this is gay yeah and <laughs> well because gay. like 
<laughs> my man, I got a I got to tell you about this whole show. <laughs> no, there's, there's, there's a little like you didn't notice. <laughs> You didn't notice like, him blushing every time. Well, <laughs> well, see, that's the thing. It's because they can't change that. Yeah. yeah, they can't. They can't change that. But they could just cut out a scene, and yeah. so that's. I'm glad but they also, didn't cut it though. They didn't cut it even on but, Crunchyroll. They just muted the yeah. audio. I it was think just the bizarre. music still played, but was there was yeah, there was no yeah. dub. There was no dialogue. But yeah, Pino, like you were saying, in Netflix, they kept some voice. Yeah. They just popped the sub in there, yeah. which that's yeah. strange. Okay. Weird. Just a little. I, I I vividly remember I was making eggs in the morning, what like listening to it, and then I hear Japanese. I'm like, get those Japanese like, <laughs> words out of my ears. <laughs> uh, but um, but the other thing great. that's funny, delicious, is that in um, what was it? Oh, uh, when no, I'm actually no. Don't listen to me. You're okay, hosting. You not. can't fall asleep now. D- d- no, I'm not. I'm he's not. He's not. He's me, 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 Cloud card, sleep. Cloud card, shitting my pants. Cloud card, wake up. Flip. Cloud card. I'm, I'm gonna shit my pants. Sharon, shitting. Yeah. Oh, we're back, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yes. Yukito's based. Uh. You know, I think I think we need to re-energize. I th- I'm ready to talk about those delicious openings. Uh, Ooh. Yeah, right. Well, I've just I've just been uh, I've just been looking, scrolling down he's on, scrolling. on the, I mean, our trivia man. Was... He's doing he's doing the trivia. He's it's doing true. it justice. Well, well also, Pino, you're so fucking quick to the draw we haven't even talked about the ost yet i may need to shit my pants too anyways <laughs> it's so good dude the card capture sakura ost is so good i'm surprised how great it is it's yeah. it does not miss bro here i'll yeah. send a you you said wind this. instruments a bunch of like like trumpets and everything i it was so epic i i, I hate to use that word but it was great <laughs> it's great dude they I, went hard like do 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 and then I'm just like I'm in. <laughs> it's awesome. It's not, you know, as as per many YouTube playlists, it is not organized well and not labeled well. There's even a song called Ho question mark. So <laughs> I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna touch that. But it is such a light and beautiful soundtrack. Like you said, the use of wind instruments instruments specifically. Is what I will always remember about the soundtrack. Stand, because, it's like, stand in, out. In every song, there's always a good use of it. And oh, God, I love it. It makes me so happy listening to this soundtrack. And like, there's like some nice, light, breezy ones. Well, and that's also very fitting since yeah. the wind card was the first that uh, mm-hmm. she True. picked up. I, that's right. very fitting. And I just there's, think it generally fits the vibe and the character. There was one with like an acoustic guitar where it's like, like the one that they use like for just like everyday situations. That's my vibe, yeah. man. That was the <laughs> best. Like anytime the that don't was on, good mood. I guess there is the, the don't eat me the, song. The, yeah. one, the one that I like is the one that they always do when like they're walking somewhere and it's just like the light and breezy one. It mm-hmm. oh, might yeah. be the same one we're talking about. I don't know. Well, I just sent it so you can look at it and tell me if it is. I don't think it, it is. It is not. So I'll send you mine. Yeah. This is great elevator music. <laughs> so what are you doing here? Oh, I'm catching a color card. And what are you? What about you? Oh, I'm going to school. <laughs> I'm going to. Sh- I'm fighting Sharon. Which one's this one? Let's let's Get let's hear. Huh? Yeah, for the for those who don't know, oh, I'll yeah. just I'll just I'll just say the, the the names of the tracks for you guys to Google. Sawa so, so, Whoa! Why am I? Why did I volunteer to do that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Kana Asa was one that Chuck posted. I posted uh, Yasuragi no Hi. Or yeah, and then uh, the third one Chuck posted was Tanoshi Hito Hito Toki. Oof, yeah, that was rough. Hitotoki. Thank you, man. Reading uh, reading sucks. <laughs> I'm glad <laughs> this is an audible Spanish form. Come out a little bit on yeah. on one of those. <laughs> yeah, I almost forgot what language this was. <laughs> <laughs> You're just mixing them all up. It's fine. Yeah, jumble them all together. Them it's a word salad. That's yeah. what they call it. Yeah, salada yummy. in Spanish. <laughs> salada. 
But yeah, uh, bang, sh- bangers sh- after bangers. Oh, uh, that reminds me. You mentioned the Spanish dub. Um, kind of, kind of backtracking a little bit, but I'm, I'm curious. What were your thoughts on that? Kubiris is the only reason I watched. That man sounded like not. He didn't sound like this. That man was straight up just an old Espanol man. It was just. It was That's the best. Awesome. That was the best. That was the only reason I continued watching that full episode. That's uh, awesome. It's great. I loved it. Shout out to that guy. <laughs> But now, now that we've talked about the other parts, let's talk about the things that you're really here for. This is the anime openings and ending section. And this time, since we only watched episodes 1 through 35, we only got one opening and one ending, which is good. Because we get to relax. Um, They don't know I'm jamming in my seat right now. I don't even need to play the song. It's just on loop in my head all the time. It's true. People can't do that. And I think that's very funny that people can't play music. They don't. They don't, you have don't just have Winamp in, in, yeah. in your in your cranium. I have I have uh, what is co- <laughs> No, I have what they call depression. <laughs> I have audible permanence. I, if I can't hear it, it's not real. <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> I gotta play. I gotta hit. Pino, that play Pino, Pino, Pino here's here. a tr- Pino here's a tree fall in the forest, but once it's done, he doesn't know what happened. <laughs> it's no longer there. <laughs> it's it no longer exists. What the hell was that? Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay. So the opening, the first opening, catch you, catch you, catch me, my day, G U M I, and it is this is iconic. Like God, if there's one thing you know, Card Captor from it's this opening. This opening is peak '90s. It is perfect. I've used this in the opening for the anime for the podcast before. It's really good. It's super pretty. It's her skating. Ugh. It's so cute. Stop still vibing. I don't know, boys. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah, is no, awesome. No, I, I, it's, it's hard to say anything because, like, it's so expressive, so cute, so stylized. It just makes it you want to move. Has, it's happy. Yeah. It, it even has some, like, faraway anime characters, which makes me pog. <laughs> Absolutely. And she, does, and she does little skip hops. So, therefore, it's peak. It's obviously already a five out of five in my book. Yeah. <laughs> Skip get me, hops. Get me, get me, get me, I will day. say the contrast at the at the beginning of the opening where like you know the water ripples like the black screen water ripples yeah. and then the shoe the red shoe oh, I, aesthetic so AF dude <laughs> it's awesome <laughs> it's great I fucking love it this is one of those I, songs where I wish I could speak Japanese just to sing along it's to this. true it's so good. memorize the syllables like I just we say both, that day yeah like I know we've both done with the Gurren Lagan oh, absolutely. opening yeah. <laughs> absolutely. At least we can say, catch me, catch me, catch me, na, la, 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 <laughs> God. That's a good uh, one. But banger. I don't really have anything else to say besides that, like, it's super good. Watch it if you haven't. We're it's, all in agreement. It's it's fantastic. It's fantastic. If, if you've watched this much of this episode and haven't seen <clears throat> any card captor, fucking stop. stop. Don't listen to this shit. Watch card watch captor. Watch the opening and watch it. What what you should do is watch the opening, and then by that time you'll be sucked in. You'll yeah. just be. And then you'll, you'll want to watch the rest, and then you, you won't can just know you're on episode ten. Yeah, she's so happy running. Ah, she's so happy, man. She's so happy. Okay. Um, <sighs> give me two more. Fuck, I'm gonna keep saying hard. she's so happy. It's. I, she she is is so happy. Have you it's listened true. to the full track? Have you listened to the full thing? Yeah, dude. It's of awesome. Of course I have. Oh, it's so. Who do you think I, I am? It's. It makes the car rides to work happy. I'm just not you an think anime you are, I, am. I don't know, dude. About I don't know. Hot, it's watch my the first day. Guys. I've been doing this for years. <laughs> the ending song is Groovy <laughs> dude, by Koumi Hirose. I kid Banger. you not. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going I'm to I'm be the dark horse here. La, la, la. I'll be the dark horse. I originally hated this song. I it grew on me later. I didn't like it at first either. Mm-hmm. No, it I've loved. I've me. loved this for my whole life. It I've did. known about this ending for ages, and I love it. so The much. full song, however, peak. It's so good. I feel like I'm it just doesn't. Right now. I, I think the ending. If you just put the whole song, I would listen to the. I would not skip this at all. Just I it just works. It. It's so good though. It's a little Carol Barrow just doing a little hoppy jumpy. Did, did the moment when Kubera said, whoa, scare me every time? Yes. <laughs> but it grew on me. Yeah. Brand new love song. Hallelujah. It's so good, man. And it's, it's, it's so, so simple. Good, it's just yeah. he's hopping around a little 
Dude, I'm telling you. A little walking ending? Never hurt nobody. It's great. Yeah. Oh, God. I... We're just, we're just, it, if you're not listening to the song, what are you doing? <laughs> Do you something? Truly. And then, and then there's a derpy little drawing at the end specifically of Caro, and it always makes me laugh. Oh, yeah. Because he looks so fucking stupid. <laughs> he <laughs> he looks, looks so goofy. He looks, he looks so He's dumb. He's a little creature. As he is, he is a little creature. Dubious little hands are just creature. Out. <laughs> He's just a little guy, and it's so funny. Uh, if you haven't thought, if and also uh, her little face is silly as well, but it's so uh, cute. Kara just looks like a fucking idiot. He way. looks melt. He looks like one of those shitty ice cream pops, like you oh, know the melting. Sonic one. Yeah, he looks like that. <laughs> it's true. That's um, good. Let's see. <laughs> I I can't really say anything else. It's yeah, just good. It's hard to. It's just it's a bad idea. It's just good. Ah, it, the song the ended for me, show. and I thought I'd, I thought I'd hear Kubera say, Hey, howdy, ho, everybody. <laughs> Hi. This is the last time I get to do this. Dude, I was so sad. I don't think... Okay, guys. So, disclaimer, I watched the, the rest of it last night because I finally became undepressed. I've done it. Mm-hmm. I've defeated it. And so, when he, when, when he came on and said, This will be the last one. Uh, and I was like, no! I was stoned out of my mind. I fucking was upset mind. too, yeah. No, I, I was agree. I was stoned out of my fucking mind and I was so sad. <laughs> I was like, Kara, no! <laughs> he was sitting he was sitting there sobbing. Joan had to console him. Like it's, it's true. Okay. Well, well also, I need to talk about this a little more because I forgot about it. Um instead of Heidi Howdy Ho, he goes, Get on check in the in, in the sub, and it is perfect. I love I'll be okay. the judge of that. Okay, I think, and also we're going back again to 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 dub and sub because we forgot to talk about the sub because we were talking too much about the dub. Oh yeah, the sub's great. Oops. I think the sub is the superior way to watch it, but I also fucking love the dub. I will not ever judge anyone for watching this dub. It's easier to watch, and it's silly. It's just some of the voices are a bit grating, but that's fine. But the the sub legitimately is a fantastic sub, just because you know professional. Yeah, I never got to like Mei Ling. I don't know how she sounds in the sub. She sound mm. good. Anyway, so watch it again. Why not? Um, I guess I'll just have to watch it again. Oh, oh no. no! Oh no! What are we gonna do? Watch it again, obviously. <laughs> but yes, it good. I would highly recommend either and both. Excellent, excellent. So now that we've finally talked about the OP and ED, let's. Swing back into the story because, All right. oh my goodness. Yeah, it's <sighs> been a while, man. Don't worry. It's been a while. Been a while. I could good. not follow. Sorry. I was I was about to sing and I don't want the world to see me. I didn't really know what song <laughs> you were singing. Dude. And I don't think that they'd understand <laughs> when everything's meant to be broken. <laughs> I just want you to know who I am. He's, he's turning into Muscle Man again. Let's go. <laughs> magical Girl you Muscle Man. Who, do you know who else turned into a Magical Girl? My mom. Oh, no, Muscle Man. <laughs> oh, we got to tell Pops about this. <laughs> Yippee! Um, Cloak card. <laughs> <laughs> it's the tree card. <laughs> Mordecai Ribby, stop pops right now. He's gonna jump off the roof. Ooh whoa! Ooh whoa! That was all. That was for all you uh, regular show fans out there. Yes, sir. We know you're out there. We know you're listening. We know you're listening. You're lurking. Yeah. Now go ahead, skip along. Anyways, <laughs> now go ahead. we forgot about it. It's true, but uh, I wish it was an easier way sort story. But I guess I'll just go by episodes and quickly just zoom through any other ones that kind of don't blow. But anyway, guys, so we first meet. Well, actually, the first thing we see is a funny little dream of <gasps> Sakura dream. standing in front of the Tokyo Tower uh, in a funny little outfit. And we and we're like, whoa! That was Tokyo also, Tower. Yeah, I thought that was like Splatoon. I thought that was like the. No, the thing in Splatfield. 
<laughs> no, this thing in Splatoon is the I well in Splatoon three it's the Eiffel Tower. Um, oh, but but also in Splatoon one I think it's a it's a reference to the Tokyo Tower. Oh, okay. Um, well, then we're good. Because it's it's obviously very uh, interesting and iconic, iconic piece of Japanese architecture. So, anyway, I've been there. I've been on it. Um, base, well, very base. It's cool. But yes, we see we see like the cards like flying around her, and you see Caro, who we don't know yet, uh, flying out. Yeah, and oh, she's so cool. Anyway, we finally get to meet our little, our main little character. Her name is Sakura Kinimoto. Who she's a little baby. She's in fourth grade, I think. Is that is that real? Holy shit, she is a little baby. I'm telling you that they're they're young. I'm I no, she's let, ten. Yeah, she's ten. Quite literally, would not let my my child go out as much as she did, especially at night. Well, I mean, you know, she's sneaking out and lurking. You know, it's a lot <gasps> safer in Japan. And also, she can fly. Like it's not like <laughs> it's just her they walking know on that, the though. street. <laughs> well, but like they're not checking. She leaves out her window, probably. Um, but yes, we meet Sakura as she stomps downstairs, and her. We also meet her brother, uh, uh, Toya, and her dad, uh, Fujitaka, which uh, th- the brother, uh, Toya. Call Sakura a little monster because she stomps so heavily. She got fev- heavy footsteps and she yeah. walks around like a kaiju. I remember that's mm-hmm. that's what he called her in the in the first episode in Japanese. And she's like, I am not. And she dreams about being big. And I love her. <laughs> I love that. Episode. She's already it's, likable on episode one. It's great. I know it's it is. It is incredible how likable all these characters are. Mm-hmm. But then again, no one's really a dick. They're all just kind of agreeable. Like there might be some disagreements, but like they're all like kind. Oh yeah. And, yeah. Like personable. So I'm like, I love this. Um, but after that, we go on to school. We meet Yukito, which is the love interest of Sakura. Well, not love interest. She has a crush on him. He's in like eighth grade or something. Uh, how old is he? He is they're like 15, yeah, 15 or 16. Yeah. 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 So he is he's much older, obviously. Six years older, and so we're like, "Mm." you know, clearly it's an unrequited love, a little crush as a kid. And throughout this, we get to just kind of hang out for a minute without knowing, you know, knowing any of the magical elements yet. We just see Sakura be a cheerleader, bonks her head with a baton, and just is hanging out with people. But she's a little silly, little klutz. Mm Mm-hmm. And after this, oh, we also see um, uh, Sakura's best friend, Tomoyo, as well. Tomoyo! Who's another fantastic character. She's Sakura's best friend and also second cousin, which we don't know until later. Can I be real, guys? What's up, boss? I know we talked about the dub, and I meant to mention it during the dub. Yeah. Tomoyo just sounds like Ralph from The Simpsons. I'm sorry. (laughs) That's the one thing I forgot to mention as my pet peeve. I can oh, only Ralph? imagine Ralph as Tomoyo. Ralph? I, I thought that he sounded like... Uh, like Homestar. Oh, home- <laughs> I could just remember... I, I, every time she spoke, I was I just... Think I, could hear, I, I, think, I, th- I think that's funnier. I think the Homestar runner is very funny. Zakua, um, that's dangerous. <laughs> I don't. You I, didn't I, go I don't, out with I don't hear that. What do you mean? Pino, what do you hear again? I hear. I hear little Ralph. Ralph, Ralph from from <laughs> from the Simpsons. Danger. I do not hear Ralph. You do not I'm hear sorry, Ralph. Pino. That's insane. I'm being gaslit. I can hear Ralph a little bit. Like I'm a biased. little, but it's too far of a stretch for me. I'm to getting the mirror card. I need it. I need somebody else on my side. <laughs> yeah, verse Uno. No, Pino, you need to take a good long look in the mirror card before you come <laughs> back talking this shit. I'm out of here. <laughs> This is the last episode. <laughs> this is the last episode of Card Captor Sakura. Oh no! We have so much to watch though. Um it's true. but anyway. This uh after she gets back home from her school, this is the enticing incident where uh she she hears uh, yeah, she hears a sound coming from the basement. And so she goes downstairs and picks up a funny little book that's in her dad's study, who's an archaeologist, who uh who does a bunch of research, and so he has a lot of old books in the basement. And 
nerd. When oh she, yeah. Sorry. She she picks up a fancy looking book that says the clow on it and <laughs> <laughs> and it opens and she sees a little deck of cards and the top one says the windy. But by the way, the names are incredible for these damn cards. <laughs> Dude, I love the cloud the cards are so funny like uh, anime capture order. Yeah, because it's like the windy, the watery, the wood. <laughs> wood, the of wood. wood. Yeah, it's like the flower, the time, the mist, and then like, where's the. Yeah, like the fr- the fiery. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, step um, it up. C- come on. But yes, so we get to see. Uh, she says the windy and all the cards go out the window. Literally. They're all gone. <laughs> and all of the cards, uh, fly out, which, uh, finally that's our set up, Man, that's except a lot of for the wood and the rain, which actually stay in the house and is a uh, later episode. But yeah, everything else goes. Yay! Um, and we get, uh, we see a funny little, uh, yellow line plush little guy come out of the book and uh, introduces himself as Cerebus, guardian of the seal. But obviously he's a little man and he got no, and he got no cards and he he's no so power. upset. And then he's just like, Sakura, you're now the card captor. I'm a, I'm and, a what? <laughs> and then gives, gives her the, the little wand, which is so cute by the way. Oh, absolutely. Oh God. There's like different ones. I prefer the cloud one, but they also have the star one. Ooh. Which they're all very pretty. They're all super cute. Um <clears throat> but ah! instead of getting bonked on the head, she does the bonking. Yeah. Oh, Boom. see, this is the thing. And also the cards were the cloud cards were made by Cloud Reed, who uh the Cloud Reed who created the cards exists in the storylines of XXX Holic and Supasa Chronicles. Both made by Clamp in the same multiverse. Lore building. So, so like, the same Clow Reed is in all three. But it's like a multiverse for the other characters. It's interesting. It's it's cool to look into, but also, like, read Tsubasa Chronicles if you want more lore-relevant information. That's what I was thinking. I believe you. But this starts our, you know, kind of adventure of capturing Clow cards. It's very laid back. Uh, we're not really, uh, you know, it's nothing too world ending. Obviously, there's like a fire in an amusement park and she falls off a cliff a couple of times. You know, a bunch of people about her mom frozen nearly to death. Yeah. It's true. That was that was a little fucked up. Almost um, drowning. It's true. OK, so there's maybe a little bit of stakes, but, you know, <laughs> you know usually not theft, art theft. Usually they're just like, no and they just have a good old time. Uh, so we go through and we start to uh, see different things. For example, we see that uh, what's or nuts. Um, Tomoyo starts making outfits for Sakura. Because they're just and, so cute. And they're just so cute. And she likes to videotape her, which is a huge part of her character, which is very cute. I think all of her outfits are lovely. Personally, mm-hmm. there's a, I think it was like her first one or like. Let me see. Where's the screenshot for? I can't remember. Regardless, all the outfits are super cute. You should look up a gallery of all of them because I love them all. They're very cute. And there's a lot of figures out there of her different outfits. And it's very cool. They're all very expensive. But they're oh, very I cool. imagine. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we, we start capturing the shadow card. We capture the watery card. Uh, well, here. Actually, I have I have the list of... Okay, I thought I had the list of all the cloud cards. Oh, uh, what in? Yeah, see so if I go to cloud, cloud cards. Is, yeah, cuz yeah, cuz we we catch like the fly which which gives her the the power to fly on her little staff no. which is so cute. Sorry. I just I, sh- sorry. No, I thought it was <laughs> Dude, What what are you doing? <laughs> I thought you were fly. doing it among us sound. I was like, what's going on? Oh, no, I'm coming out of here, dude. 
Uh, but we get you're, you're, you're a little bit sus there, but I know. Hey, howdy, howdy, ho, howdy, howdy, ho. It couldn't be right. me. I was, I was inside right. the drawer. You're right. Kerberos was sus the whole time. Absolutely. Was sus. I didn't Wait, trust I that rat for a. I still didn't trust that rat for a moment. Um, la rata is stupid. <laughs> la rata peligrosa. <laughs> rata. Bad rats. Um, Don't buy it. <laughs> But one of the things that I actually want to talk about really quick that I think is funny. Uh, so we meet uh, during this story, we meet a shop owner who does like little stuffed animals and shit. We see at the beginning and then she also sells like fake cloud cards kind of. Mm-hmm. It was weird. It was like fortune cards. Anyway, she is not canon. She's not in the manga. Hey, no way. She's not in the manga. That's crazy. She's not real. Also, mailing Lee. Not in the manga. What? That's that no shot, but she does, dude. But but she does show up in like the movie and clear card. Okay. Ain't no way. You That's just crazy. Just, you just destroyed my entire world. So I've... Lee Lee is in the manga. Yes, Lee but is. Mailing is not okay. Mailing is not no. Interesting. That is. Huh. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I think I'm I done. Don't... It was a great episode, guys. Okay. Class. I'm out of here. Never, never reading that manga. No mailing. Count me out. Yeah. Nobody. I don't know. That's interesting uh, though. But thank you. Thank you for that. I'm trying to like see if Sharon. Sharon, I'm not real. Wake up, Sharon. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> You're in a coma, Sharon. <laughs> You're the one who burned the house down, Sharon. <laughs> Sharon. 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 Shut up, mailing. Mailing. I didn't burn anything down. You, you burned my house to the ground. What do I do? I, burn, I was my looking for a cloak card. What do I do? I was looking for a cloak card. I have a cloak card. But throughout Smoke these early... Smoke is really <laughs> getting to them in this building. <laughs> but, uh, but throughout this, uh, these first like couple seven episodes, which is really like expository, kind of getting getting some base cloud cards in, capture, kind of get us into a groove of it, and... So we learn two things actually. Uh, there, or well, really one major thing, and then one thing happens after. We learn about Sakura's mom being dead. Like obviously we knew before, but like we see her ghoul, see her ghost, Gabagool, uh, yeah, which is canon by the way because her brother uh, Toya. Yeah. He sees ghosts. Mm-hmm. He sees dead people, just like mm-hmm. that movie. Just like the guy. Just like the guy. But yeah, which, okay, so this is funny, because I was watching this episode. The It's episode seven, Sakura and her memories of her mother, which obviously is, it's the, like, illusion card, what is it called? Um, yeah, it's literally the illusion card. I'm so fucking smart at this. He's aced. Um, I'm, I'm based and red-pilled. Uh, but Sakura, we see that she loves her mom, but doesn't really have any memories of her. And during this episode, we see her fall off a cliff like twice because she's walking to her mom. And it's real sad. It made me real sad. And But during this part, I like fucking fell asleep. I was so tired that day. And I woke up to the scene where Tomoyo... Uh, like sees his mom <laughs> in like Oof. in the uh, like in the house like at the end so i never like got the conversation that he has with uh with his other friend what's his nuts um uh yukido like i never heard that conversation of them being like oh yeah like i haven't seen my mom like i used to see my mom all the time until like 6th grade or whatever whatever he hasn't seen her in a long time her ghoul but then she shows up and i was like what the fuck is oh, yeah. happening i will i will tell ghouls? you i'll that, be honest i was that, so confused that messed me up <laughs> I, yeah, was just, dude. I, I was just like it was so out of left field i was like this like show a, is happy i'm gonna you know it's all right i mean i mean it's all right and then i was like yo, hey yo <laughs> yeah, it was hey, fucked up Why my, do this my, my egg real? sandwich a little watery bro <laughs> Who got tears in my sandwich? Exactly. I got put too much spice in it. I was not ready for any of that. Like, it hit. Yeah, dude. I didn't know. 
I don't know. Didn't um, know. but 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 but, <laughs> uh, we then get introduced to a funny little gremlin. His name is Sigourn Lee. He's he is a gremlin. Oh yeah, like I, <laughs> I he is small and he is a gremlin, and I love him. He's just a little little guy. And he's very sweet. You know, he does. He has his cute little. Uh, is he from Hong Kong? Yeah, he's from yeah, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Yeah. Him and Mei Ling are both from Hong Kong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to make sure. And like, oh, I love, I love him. He's just a little guy. He's, he's a funny he's guy. Just, he's angie. He is funny. He is angie. He loves men, which is incredibly based. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's and we'll we'll obviously go more into it as we continue on down the the story. But they meet, uh, and Lee is also trying to get the cloud cards from, and he has like his funny little like, uh, Hong Kong like Japanese dial like compass thing, mm-hmm. and he's that, also like, yeah magical, which which he's also magical. Which I don't know why he needs the little thing because he can sense cloud cards, and they clearly said we don't fucking need it anymore because they don't use it any longer. But <laughs> for the first little bit. He would use like this paper compass to uh, find things. Regardless, we meet him and they're kind of like Sakura and and literally the episode's name is Sakura's rival appears. So Lee is, you know, kind of the opposite hot headed kind of gets angry pretty easily. Very uh, focused on on doing what he needs to do and doesn't want to make friends, you know, that, that sort of shit. You got, you mm-hmm. see? Right. And yeah. 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 Uh, please stop. Yeah. But yeah. So we, meet, so we meet Lee and Lee's a little friggin' Grammy Grim and I love him. Oh yeah. Uh, but then after this, we just go back to more school life, go back to more cloud card captures. And that's basically, it for yeah. most of the rest which I'll, I'll go through like some major points um let's see i mean like yeah i mean oh. it's it, it it's like you're it's not i, won't, I don't want to call it's, it it's, typical it's, but it's like your bad guy no, it, of the episode or bad guy well of the week. yeah it's like a, it's yeah. it's a monster of the week formula yeah. for sure with the cloud cards but mm-hmm. like it is so so much slice of life that like i can clearly forgive it because it's there's still there's still progression being had in these characters. We mm-hmm. learn more about these characters each episode. It's not like it's a filler, you know, card of the week, whatever bullshit. Um, yeah. But it is. Oh man, I do really like it. There was an episode about the sword card, which made one of her friends want to stab. That was pretty fun. <laughs> that was the flower out out of left field. <laughs> The flower one where everyone was drowning in the uh, the Sakura flower petals. That was fucked up. What about the fight card or whatever that one's called? Strength, I think? Yeah. Which one was strength? It was like that one, like, like the one that just wanted to fight people because they wanted to be the, the best. And like you I had would, to beat it in it, order to. Do you mean, do you mean the fight card perhaps? I did. I said the fight card at the beginning yeah, yeah. and then I called it yeah. the power card. I don't, I don't trust myself. I don't know if you've uh, learned this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's right. That's right. God, I, I did definitely like, for gore some episodes. Yeah. But yeah, I remember I the do dash. Remember I'm surprised I remembered yeah. a lot of episodes. Yeah, that's true. I do too. Looking through them, like there's the shot card, there's the maze card. I most re- mostly remember the dash because it looks like Espeon. It's true. Well, because <laughs> also the funny thing is that all these cards are fucking anime girls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every card is an anime girl, which is based, by the way. I love it. But, like, you know, we have, like, a little Cinderella story in one of them, which is great, by the way, because we get to dress up, uh, uh, we get to dress up, uh, what's his name? Both, uh, Toya and, Toya and Yukito, and Toya dresses up in a dress, and, oh, my God. Excellent. God, it's excellent. Toya looks so good in a dress. (laughs) It's so cool. I love it. But, you know, there's there's just a bunch of different episodes. There's a Test of Courage episode, which is always fun. The uh, the Summer Festival one where um, where Lee and Toya get into, like, a fight. 
but like not really it's just like a competition at the at the summer festival i yeah. love it there's the body switch episode when oh yeah Kiro that and was Lee switch that bodies. was very was really funny good. yeah and obviously we we meet um anime only character by the name of Mei Ling Lee, who we've talked about previously, but is like cousin. Sharon. Yeah. 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 First cousin of Sharon Lee and betrothed, which. Sharon. You know. Sharon. Sharon. And so she's just, you know, loves Lee and doesn't like Sakura and doesn't like Caro. And so they just kind of jab. She's a bit she, more antagonistic. She doesn't have magic, so she's not as cool. But she's yeah, actually she's a, really she cool. Do, she can but she's a funnier though. character than we've ever had. She Absolutely. is a funnier character than we've ever had. That's the key to it all. Um, but yeah, we we get like the marathon. We get the the little adventure where Sakura is small. Oh, we we <laughs> love those episodes. The the Sakura clone. She's episode. like maybe I don't want to live Sakura. in a castle anymore. <laughs> and then later, when Sakura become big. Yeah. yeah. Well, Sakura well, also like big. the, also like the Sakura become two. Oh yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the clock. Oh my! Yeah. <laughs> it was the mirror. It was the joke that you made earlier, Pino. No, no. I, uh, we, I would have remembered. We, <laughs> we have the teacher, which we actually uh, get to meet as well. Mm-hmm. In that episode, no I less, really who... appreciate the pacing of the introduction yes. of new characters. It was just perfect because there's yes. a lot of the times I've mentioned, I've complained about this on the podcast before, where I, I think that was my big problem with uh, shows like Dimension W is it just throws characters at you and it's like I don't have, I don't give a fuck about any of these people. And yeah. whenever you give them time, you really grow to like them. And you can slowly show them interact with other characters and then add more into the mix after you've mm -hmm. established how they interact yeah. with, with this new character, mm -hmm. the dynamic. No, it's, oh, yeah. it is extremely well paced for a show that yeah. like could be called a little slow, but I don't think so. I think it's, it's casually paced is what I would say. And I feel like it really works for this type of show because it is. You know, Pino's favorite genre, Slice of Life. Never and heard of it. No, impossible. <laughs> Never heard of it. And so I really, I really appreciated how like chill it was. You know, it's, I got the same, same type of vibes as Yeru Camp. I literally told Joan as we were doing it, I was like, oh yeah, we could definitely do a, like we need to watch Yeru Camp because we watched some of it and it was cozy like this show. And you should watch Yeru Camp too if you haven't. There's two seasons and a movie coming out. Uh, and you can watch our episode on it. You we can. Already, we do we have a good. Wait, wait, wait! I haven't watched episode. that one yet. <laughs> uh, and Gar thought it was bad, or someone thought it was. I bad. was me. Like, that I was me. It was that was me. Boring. No, I thought it was boring. Yeah, you thought it was boring, and I hated you. And I still. Hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, will will I still sleep at the ending song? Yes, I'll, I will go. Me, me. No, me, but me, it's me. so cozy me, though. Me, me, but me, that's me. why. Me, 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 me. Maybe you guys are just not as based as me. Maybe we're not I, as cringe. I, I <laughs> no! Oh, shoot, no! I got him. He's been banished to the yeah! cringe dimension. This, this mirror card worked out wonders. <laughs> oh, he's in the maze card now. Oh, no. Uh, we've we've got him for now. Where this am is, I? This is our episode now. It's all right. This it's maze like, is only a straight line, so hopefully he'll make it. It's like a maze in here. No. I, hey, I, could, I mean, I could, I could quite literally see you. Hello. Who are you? I, that's it. I'm Pino. Oh, hi, Pino. Hey, come over. You, you, okay, go. I'm coming. Yeah. Give him some cheese. Um, put some, I'm, put some, I'm, I'm the rat some around cheese? here. Give me, okay, give fine. Here, have some me? cheese. Okay. Hey, give him a little pat so he knows how to get out. He's already here. What are you talking about? He's back. Guys, I'm back to host the episode. I just got lost in the maze card and I got sent to... To mirror dimension, and I got called cringe. Yeah, that's um, all right. we should have pulled the gay baby jail card. Uh, that's true. Backward long have. jump out of there. Let's see, what was this one? Return. Uh, God, I'm trying to. I'm just looking through these. No, you're fine. Take your time. No, we're not gonna take Sharon. Time. Sharon. Yeah, we'll just keep saying Sharon. Sharon. You know? I just, yeah. I, I'm, I'm almost sorry for how much I have done that this episode. You're but it's definitely so not fun. sorry. Though. It's really. Fun. I love it. It's so funny. I love mailing. Sakura. Oh, I like how they say Sakura in the dub. Sakura. Sakura. I do like Sakura, but we also get to see like a baking episode. 
that yeah, they all make cakes, I, which I which I which I just like as an episode. Not really. That, nothing really important happened. No, that but cloak card is dangerous. That man. Yeah, the sweet card. The sweet card. Uh, instant cavities. Inst, inst, also, all those kids are dead. Also, a cute little fairy all those anime kids girl. Are dead. All those kids did die. It's true. <laughs> um, we have like the uh, the injured card with the with the sprint. I think it was the oh, dash yeah. card. The dash, yeah. which was a cute little like espion, like you said. And yeah. I'm like, this is that small. one kind of hurt though. At the end, yeah! whenever she was like. <laughs> And then she did shit in the first round, but then she won at the end of her own yeah, accord. Of which her own accord. That, that, that was Honda, the only yeah. thing that saved that. I would have been fucking miserable if that episode didn't have a happy ending. Also, I hey, was, uh, yeah, uh, Ray Tachibana. The, I guess anime time. only. What? No way. Anime only character. Yes, the, sir. Really? The kid? The the kid that? Uh, that's the kid, right? Yeah. The kid that likes the teacher. That's, no, Ray Tachibana is the one who did the dash card. The girl who oh running. her okay, that's crazy. Yeah. Hmm. Um, let me see. Is there? A... I want to see if is the dash card only. It couldn't be. Oh yeah, dash card is only anime. That's crazy. You mean you wow. got yeah. you got Sakura looking for cars that aren't even real? <laughs> true. Uh, we get the we get the ice skating episode, which I do. I love that episode, not really for the ice card and it being cold and and uh, and everyone freezing, which is pretty funny. Um, but because when I lived in Japan for two years, I was funnily enough, I was literally fourth, fifth grade. So I was kind of like a bit old. Mm, when, how old was I in that? Yeah, you would grade? have been a little bit older than Sakura. Garbo X, how old are you in fourth grade? I'm can remember how pino how old are you in i was also grade? like on the younger scale how old was i so, what now? me too in fourth grade in fourth grade i was young 10 yeah nine or 10 literally so i was on the, I was on the literally side, though me too <laughs> we we're all babies we're all babies um that's a lie though pino you're not a baby you are on a younger side i'm not a baby <laughs> wah anyways <laughs> but but so when I lived in Japan, I was literally in fourth and fifth grade. And Jesus, what the fuck is this car doing backing up being a stupid bitch and being so loud? <laughs> um, like, oh, I don't want to be in that episode. Car count yeah. soccer. Oh, I love that show. <laughs> beep, but beep. Um, when, when I was in elementary school, I would also go to ice skating rinks in Japan. And so, like, this is a very common thing. They have a lot of big facilities. <laughs> for ice skating like around a lot of populated areas hmm. and as a student as a fourth and fifth grader i also went to these ice skating rinks and <clears throat> ah what have the hiccups give me a sec it's all right someone it's, it's, talk it's the ice quick skating. joan strangle him no just like this. that's how you cure hiccups right yeah mm -hmm. one of those yeah yeah uh I'll, i guess i'll interrupt while he's getting no, the hiccups no, i'm back no, oh. I got it down. No, I'm bad so, at ice skating. By the way, by the way, guys, uh, secret to getting rid of hiccups. Ooh. What you do is you take a sip of water, but okay. you don't swallow it. So you keep water in your mouth. Okay. And then you're standing up during this process. You take okay. a sip of water okay. and you go touch your toes. Touch your toes. Like with... keep your legs straight. My, is my mouth so, open? Like, bend your... No, keep your mouth closed please, mm. so you don't drop water. And well, He's not dribbling. now, but He's whenever dribbling. Pino, Pino, not now, but whenever you have the hiccups, uh, you're getting rid of it. Uh, oh, See, I, I got the joke. Water. So silly, but yes, if you touch your toes and then swallow and then slowly like stand back up, like roll up. This is a lot of steps. No, it's so you touch your toes and then you stand back up. And I'm just gonna have don't hiccups. Have, I don't have hiccups anymore. Look at me. I'm, but anyway, I'm just gonna anyway, have the hiccups. Hold up, they, let me drink they, some water. They, I'm going to kill you, Pino. But anyway, ice skating, <laughs> uh, pretty common activity for field trips. And nice. I thought it was very funny that they went to one because I'm like, oh, I know this. So um, do you, would you consider yourself a good ice skater? Like, do, are you able to balance? Yeah, I okay. can skate. Well, I'm jealous anyways. <laughs> yeah, you should be jealous. I'm not good at it either. You man. should be jealous. I'm not good at um, roller skates either. So. Yeah, same. But yeah. but yeah, the freeze card. Also, during that time, that was peak Nintendo DS days. So I hosted Mario Kart DS. Base. Things on hey. the school bus. 
and we would have a full lobby of shy guys because what? Wow. Have, well, well, because wow. in Mario, Mario Kart DS, yes. wow. if you didn't have the game and you did it on download play, then you would become oh, shy guy. Yeah. But if you had it. the game, but if you had the game, you could be whatever character. So there would be like me as like Rob, and then someone else is like Peach, someone else is Yoshi, and then the rest shy guys. It was great. Yeah. It's a great experience. <laughs> Anyway, Great. we love it. Yeah, no. Anyway, that's just a, a nice, you anecdote. know, anecdote yeah. of me. Uh, but yeah, we get cold and then we have Christmas. Nothing really kind of a just a chillin', chill hang huh, I get type it. of deal. And then we do the fiery and then that's about it. Who it's lights nice. on who lights the amusement park on fire, which was a very cute episode. Yeah. Oh shit. Wait, <laughs> yeah, is- very cute arson. Love it. Arson. Yeah. Yay. Um. Oh, oh, I see. Sorry, I didn't. Oh, I, didn't I didn't. No, that was hot. Um, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know it's that heartburn. the uh the movie is in between seasons one and seasons two. Interesting. <gasps> mm, I guess that's a good thing we stopped where we did. Mm. Well, yeah. Tango. Anyway. Mm. Anyway, yeah. This card capture. There's not really too much, too much to talk about. You know, besides like the cloud cards, since we know all those and. It's a nice time, um, but I believe yeah. Do we do we? How do we feel about like the plot and the story overall? Uh, I mean, it's all right. No, it's great. I like it. Simple, <laughs> easy to follow. It's great. Yeah, you don't have to focus too much on it, but there's enough there to keep you in. You know exactly. Yeah, yeah. All so. the family beats. I love it. I love me. Yeah, you, you know me. I love yeah. me family, dude. Yeah, it's true, and, dude. And like it's I all mentioned about before. Family about how the introduction of new characters excellently paced. Hmm. Yeah, no, I think it's I think it's a really really good anime. Yeah. Oh, Holds hi, up, which is great. Hello. Did you did you did you hear my little kitty? La hello. Yeah. yeah. That was that was Eloise. My little baby. Um but anyway, yeah. I really enjoyed it. I think I had a great time. Eloise, you got anything to say about Card Captor? Hey. No. No, she just had to introduce herself. That was it. I mean, fair My enough. Presence she needed is to, known. Yeah, she, literally, she needed to make her presence known. So, uh, but now she's sitting next to me, so I'll pet her while I do this next part. Awesome. Um, as you do. As I do it w- when you have cat. Let's see. I just got to make sure I'm not for for gore or anything. But yeah, yeah, plot good. I think it's simple but very effective. Like, I don't think it would be a good anime if the plot was very convoluted. I didn't think it would be a good piece of media if it was, like, more convoluted and the tone would be different. Because, like, very much this is a kid's show, you know? And I love that. I, like, unapologetically love that it's a kid's show. Because it is, like, while there are some more mature themes, it is still very much targeted at a younger demographic. Which is fine. Because I think it was... also, guys, after after Berserk, a card <laughs> captor a is cleanser, real dude. nice. Oh yeah, we got card reset. Captor, I know. I like it was so nice. I really enjoyed the just the how calm it was. I don't know. This was also like a Chuck episode, you know, like a Chuck show. It mm-hmm. is very chill. It's got a lot of very fun characters. It has a very interesting concept. The music's busting. OP and ending is busting, you know, the things that I'm looking for in an anime. Like, I don't really care that much about action. So, like, I had a great time. I I really liked it. Um, But anyway. But I feel like the action sequences were great. Were though. good. No, I was never, I was never disappointed. But I was never like, oh, I wish there was an action scene in this episode. Because Ooh, and also, ooh, ooh, me, that's me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that was me like for, like, the first episode. So then I got over it. Yeah. Well, and I think the lack of too much action helped emphasize it whenever it was there. Yeah. Plus, it's Madhouse, so they go hard whenever they do yeah. delve into that. So I mean, it's believable even without the action. It's a kid. Yeah. It's, a, yeah. it's, a, it's an elementary school kid. Yeah. God damn. It's true. Well, because well, like... Um, God damn. Oh, God damn. I mean, do you remember how know. everybody reacted when they saw her walk off the cliff? I'm just like, holy... Cr- like, yeah. yes, yeah. you should be worried from episode, like, two. <laughs> God. It was crazy. Oh, I, I think it's very cool. I very much enjoyed the plot. I felt like it worked 
very well for what it needed to do, and I think that's pretty pogger. Yeah, it's pretty epic. Pretty epic. Love this show. The show is very fun. I would highly recommend to anyone who has not seen it yet. If you're still fucking watching this, what that? I mean, like we really didn't go into too much detail. Yeah, we did like some key parts, but like, I think he did good. I think that was a, it was a perfect way to summarize it. Yippee! Um, but anyway, let's go talk about some characters then. Oh, if we're yeah. if we're all touch upon, guys, I mean, we talked a little bit. We'll talk. We'll touch upon them again. Yeah, guys, Sakura's so cute. Sakura, she's just a little baby. Adorable. Just want to just, just want to make sure she's safe. Yeah, because I want to protect. Protect exactly. Well, she'd be the one protecting us, obviously. But, <laughs> but stay in also your room. I protect. Have, have a childhood. Eat a candy. God damn. Eat a candy. God damn. Eat a candy. I really appreciate that she's very distinct and different from like Usagi. Yeah, well, because she's moon. not like she's not really airheaded. You know. Yeah, yeah. Like, she's, she's a kid. and she's athletic. She's you good know? at this. Yeah, Usagi's you know. not. Um, well, she's she's a kid, is what it is, and I true. think that's like really key to her character, just because. Well, like you know, that's a cop out, but like she's nine, like yeah. you know, she she's does little. her things. She has her she has her stuffed animals. Like she made a little like a bedroom for Caro in the little drawer, <laughs> and so I'm like, cute. I cry every time. It's so it's cute. true. It's adorable. So it's I great. I just love it. I love it so. Um, Pino, anything about Sakura? I think that she was portrayed as just like you said. She was like she was she was a kid doing things that kids shouldn't do, but in a kid manner. Like everything made it just the numbers added up. So that was good. Like yeah. there was never a moment where I was like, this isn't what a kid would do. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's very believable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and it's like really and again, like bringing it back to Kubera's, like when they had that fight, I'm like, of course you're gonna fight with like that's a silly argument you don't have to fight about, yeah. but it's I believe yeah. it. <laughs> true. It's adorable, yeah. but it's it's like I I was never once taken aback. Like, oh yeah, the hell? Like, <laughs> no, it all it up? all made sense. Yeah. I, that's another thing. It oh made my sense. fucking god. That's my that's like oh, the biggest thing. That's the biggest self for me. It so, made sense. Pino, you're so real for that. Yeah, you're man. so real for that. Because, Some might like, say I'm zased. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I was just Zaza. He's Zaza and he's base. Zaced. True, ah. dude. Um, but yeah, Sakura's great. I think she's so cute. All of her outfits are fucking adorable. Absolutely. She's, she's a little baby. Little baby. Uh, also, all the far away uh anime characters in this, phenomenal. It is perfect. One that is the one thing that we that we lost. Like we truly and thoroughly lost in the transition to digital is shitty low res anime characters like from far away like low detail we get uh, dumpy still look. There. no we get, we get, no, we get they're boring not, but, 3d but looking right. ass people it, no but it they're does not the hit same different. because I well know. because what what it is is that they all had this like the animation cell is still the same size so they have to squeeze it in at, yeah. like without you know, with the same brush and things like that. While digital, you can zoom in, you can do some more finer details, and you know, yeah. I just think they are very funny, and it make me laugh. Yeah, and I love the silly Carburos. Yes, the Carburos is so good. He's a funny guy. He's a funny little man. Um, but yes, well, I guess that's what I we love should talk about next, huh? I guess we can. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Luis, you back because you heard your favorite your favorite character. Okay. Is that your favorite character, Luis? Luis, is it Carol your Luis. favorite character? Anyway, I love, I love Carol. Carol John. I want to punt him. Uh, I want to kick him. He's such a little funny. He's a funny little fellow. He eat. He eat because he's hungry. He's a little shitter sometimes, though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not so gonna lie. Well, well, he is a shitter, but like, I love that he's a little shitter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, you know what? You got me there. Like, cause no, I wouldn't want to have Caro like in As my a dinner life. Guest. <laughs> Give no, me your chocolate cake. But mm. like, when when he's so small and he's gaming. Oh, he do he gaming. gaming. Yeah, he was gaming. All and right. I'm like, well, I can't not love him. Redemption arc. Yeah, he's redemption a gamer. Arc. 
But yes, I love Caro. I think he's so fun. You remember when he was just angry that he had to play the game again, like multiple True. times because of the reset card? He's just card like or me. He's just like me. I had a, bro. I had a I flashback. Lost. No, Pido, Pido. This happened to me for real. I played to the last uh, dungeon of Persona Four on my PS Vita. And I lost my save. Oh, something like, like that. That happened to me like with uh, Paper Mario. A hundred, door. like a hundred plus hours. Yeah, oh, no. gone. Yeah. That a happened nightmare. to me as a kid. I had a shitty Mad Cat's memory card no! and shit out. <laughs> and so, yeah, I just for years. It wasn't until I was like a teenager or something that I that God. I finally went back and played through that whole fucking game. And beat it. So Awful. I feel your pain, buddy. Awful. Yeah, <laughs> the only it closest sucks, thing I could relate to <laughs> to Cabarrus is the fact that anytime I was sick, I would always play Sonic and Son- Sonic Two, Sonic the Hedgehog Yo, Two. But it was on those Sonic like too. plug and play uh, tar. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> so you didn't yeah. have saves. You didn't have saves. You kind of just right. had to play through it. Well, I mean, you didn't have saves in the original game. I know, but still, I I would reach. I guess like the second to last world. And then it was lunchtime. No. And my mom's no. like, turn that game going. off. <laughs> well, Mommy, you please, you no. Please. You could have you left the console on but turned the TV off. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Mom was built different. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Maybe you just didn't try hard enough. Anyway, I try. I love Kiero. I live the Kiero mm-hmm. Biro. Um, but while we're talking about cloud cards and fighting, let's talk about Sauron Lee, who is... Hangy. A little man, and he's a gremlin. He's aggressive. I love him. Be aggressive. He's he's angry. He has a sword. He's cool as he he, he kicked he kicked the fight card or whatever it was. It was sick as hell. <laughs> he was D, he was mini like, Dio. He had the time card right. He had the time stop power. Did right? he? Holy shit! I'm pretty sure one of them had the time stop power, and he oh, would just like help the... out sometimes. <sighs> I remember him using the thunder card a lot. I was like, God damn. Yeah. Not, well, modern he, modern problems I, don't need modern solutions. Just use lightning. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> well, because he used a sword to kill it. It was based. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I like him a lot. He's just a little gremlin. Uh, Got a lot of gremlins he's in just the show. Very, he's just very fun. And the contrast between him and Sakura is great. Yes, they're great foils. Mm-hmm. They're great foils. Agreed. Oh, man. It's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's all I got to say about Lee. Yeah. Do you want to talk about Tomoya? Tomoya! Oh, man. Her having a camera was the best. I'm just like, She's I'm so in. Cute. I'm in. She's so She cute. has a little theater in her room. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, well, because she's, she's rich. She's filthy stinking rich, dude. Daughter of the president of the Dai Doju Toy Company. She's also gay as fuck. She is it's true. Yeah. It's true. It's based. Nice. I'd have She's her design cute. some clothes for me, man. That was awesome. Like, me like, too, yeah. dude. Oh, my God. No, oh, no time. sleeping. Bro, I'm going to take a sleep right no, now. No, he used the sleep if cord. If he takes a okay. sleep, I'm taking a dump. <laughs> Do you need to go take a dump, Pino? Not really, no. I just, this okay. amateur didn't take a pre-podcast. <laughs> Free log. Well, <laughs> fucking amateur. I was, I was, I was laying Lincoln logs before this. Come <laughs> I made, Lincoln I made logs. that. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> I made that same joke whenever I guest starred on Antibodies. Oh, by oh, the way, go listen to Antibodies. I They're love chill. guys. We love Antibodies. Guys, now we talked about Lee. Let's talk about Mei Ling. Mei, Mei Sharon. You who's, broke who's, my heart. Who's anime only, but we have her in anime. And therefore, we love her still. Also, there's only a couple of manga style art for her, oh, because obviously hmm. she wasn't in the manga, but mm. but we do we do get a couple of. There was one I think here. Let me check the trivia because I remember reading about it. Yeah, trivia, trivia. Yeah, yeah. No, because Mei Ling's character was created for the anime only. She has only three manga styled pictures. Uh, and one of them is an image of Mei Ling that came from the booklet included in the character songbook, in which I'm sending right now. Uh, oh, it's also sick. her. It's oh, also her adorable. icon That's on the so wiki. Cute. It's very cute. So her in the manga is, even though she isn't there, is very cute. Uh, I love her. She's a little silly, 
She's angry. She can't cook. She tries her hardest, and we love her for that. I it's relate. True. She can't skate. <laughs> I feel that with my soul. She can't skate. Uh, awesome. Plus, hairstyle's awesome. It's on fleek. It's yeah. it's base. Yeah. It's it's awesome. It's cool. I do like her a lot. I think she's very fun. Too bad she doesn't have magic. Shoutouts to having some people from Hong Kong in a Japanese yeah. show. Yeah. True. You don't see it very often. No. Yeah. Pretty cool. Not. Once again, Clamp being a uh, very what's it called? Goaded. How would you yeah, goaded, but there's a different word. Progressive is the Oh, word. there we go. Uh, but yeah, I love Lee. Okay, shut up. Um, <laughs> but I love Lee. Uh guys. Guys. Yeah. Let's talk about Toya. Toya. Based older brother. Based older brother. Beating up anybody who harms his sister, man. What a guy. Yeah. Oh, fun fact. He was born on uh, February 29th. Oh, hey. He He's yeah. only like, what, four years old then? Yeah, <laughs> yeah basically. Yeah, because he's 16 in the original series. So Based. Yeah. I just threw it. I just, I just grabbed that out of my butt. Yo. Yeah, yo. What yeah. else is there? I poop, I poop in there. Who poggers? <laughs> I love Toya. Man, Toya uh, low key. Just he's awesome. He's just low key. High key. Toya no, high goes key. Hard. He's, high key. He he's in a dress. Yeah. He's he should have had a he should have been a card captor too, man. He, yeah, he a should dress, have been. a wand. There's still time. Yeah, his uh y- Yukito could be his uh Kuberos. <laughs> it's always there. But I love I food. specifically love I love Toya's uh like rivalry kind of with Lee, even oh, though yeah. Lee like loses most of the time. <laughs> and it's cause it's cause he's based. Toya's based. But yeah, I think he's a very fun character. Another really good foil for Sakura. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, true. Which is very fun. So I just think he's a great character. Nothing more else to say. Yeah, I feel like we didn't we didn't talk him up a whole lot, but I still. But he's love a him. he's a he's a yeah. really good character. I really enjoy all of his appearances. Like, he's very important to like the story development of Sakura specifically. So, don't sleep on him. Even though we kind of slept on him, I'm telling yeah. you not to. Watch the show. Watch, watch the show. Damn it! it. God. Watch, watch it again off. if you've watch already it. seen it. Watch it what again. What the fuck? Watch it again. Watch the movie, guys. Yukito. He's a little guy. He's just a little guy. He's just a little, he's just cute. You know? He's a pretty tall guy. He's not the little guy. But he's cute. He is pretty cute. I mean, fucking everyone in the show has a crush on him, so true. Oh no. He's he's very he, he is also the love like a love interest for Lee, which is so based. Makes me very happy to see that. Um and also, he l- has a crush on Toya. Ooh. Yeah. A little spoiler, but that's fine. I mean, I kind of suspected that since he's fucking around each other all the time. Just, he that's just lives true. there. He, <laughs> he yeah. does just live. So at this point, he lives there. Grandparents, yeah, I know he's got grandparents, but he lives there. Yeah, he's cool. Sorry, Ugh. Sakura, out of your league. <laughs> you can't compete with Toya. It's true. It's true. Toya's base. Uh, but uh and then let's talk about the dad, I guess. If we Yeah, let's go. Good dad representation. Because I you know, there's like the classmates and we'll, we'll talk about them in a bit. Um yeah, but uh, Fujitaka yeah. Kinamoto. I love him. He's a great dad. He's also very pretty, as all Clamp characters are. Indiana Jones looking ass. <laughs> well, except for the beard and the ruggedness and the hat and everything. And the other thing else and yeah. the, all the other, yeah. yeah. He's a good dad, good teacher, great man. True. true. Quite literally just, you know, uh, I don't know why the other family shit, like, shit in on him, man. It doesn't make any sense. Shit and fart. Well, it's because they took their, okay, so let's talk about this, actually. Nadeshko Kinamoto, dead wife, dead mom. Dead mom. <laughs> dead mom three. I love her. She is pretty. Uh, she has lore relevant, and she watches over the family. Family. And and they had a really cute little background story that we got to see a lot of her in, and I made me very happy. Yeah. Because we, cause we also meet um, 
it's not uh Sayomi uh who is uh Tomoyo's mom who is also the cousin of uh which uh which one Kyle Nadesh Yeah, right? Right. Are they They're yeah, either they're cousins, cousins yes. or like steps Yeah, they're, they're 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 first cousins. First so cousins. But yeah, but Oh, Sonomi's baddie. I love her. I wish we got more of her in this season. Oh, yeah. But she's very pretty, very fun. Who wants cake? <laughs> True. But yeah, she's very, mm-hmm. very pretty. I love them all. I really like all these characters from all that we've met so far. Yeah. Anyone else before we do the thing that we do every time? No, I don't have anybody nope. else to talk about. Okay. What do we do? What are you? What are you talking about? It's been like two months. <sighs> Give me one. I don't know. Well, there there is a bit, but this is the bad part of the bit. The, before oh, we get... what do you mean? What? No, this is this this is the pre bit. This is bit. part of oh, the bit. pre bit. Yeah. This is oh. the foreplay. This is now. This is free 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 bird free. This is free. bonus. Free bird. Yeah. I could imagine. Um, <coughs> I could imagine. Uh, just Sakura uh, getting. Capturing cards uh, to to Freebird. I feel like that's okay. Uh, I'll make I'll make an AMV of Sakura <laughs> capturing cards. If the Patreon gets to let's say if the Patreon gets to twenty five supporters, I will make a full for the full song. Full song. I will do the oh full my. song AMV. Holy! Shit. If we get to twenty five patrons, we so, should do more more AMV. <laughs> More, goals more AMVs every time we reach another goal. I like that. <laughs> um, but anyway, welcome oh. to the 107th edition of Who's the Best Girl, the part of the podcast crazy. where each contestant put for their choice for Best Girl of the episode and do get up for title. <gasps> best Girl. Today, our contestants once again, Pino Guard, myself, and the Patreon. Who are each advocating for? I pick Mei Ling. I pick Kaho Mizuki, the teacher. I pick Sonomi. Dai Joe. Right, by good. Joey. Very nice. But also, the patrons... So one of them said Sonomi, so I will just... Yoink that. <laughs> but the other one is actually uh, Tomoyo, so uh, I will fight for mother and daughter. All right, the Tomoyo. Very good. Um, I will do Tomoyo first, all and right. then we can kind of loop around if people are good with that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys. Tomoyo is so cute. She's so precious. She loves her friends. She makes sure that they're all safe. She has her own little bar- bodyguard. <laughs> uh, she loves Sakura. They're so cute. She's so sweet. Ugh. I can't deny it. <laughs> this is hard. I can't deny it. <laughs> oh, am I am I not gonna shit on people today? It's, it's oh. all the characters oh. are good in this show, dude. It's, it's so true. hard yeah. to smack talk them. I can't. Oh. It's impossible. Oh, this is so fun, actually. Fun lore fact. Lore. Mm-hmm. In the manga, some scenes give the appearance that Tomoya has a crush on Sakura's brother, Toya. However, according to an interview uh, in one of the books, this was an error caused by one of the finishing artists not being aware that Tomoyo intended was intended to have feelings for sakura oh obviously, obviously. if you c- if you couldn't see that then you're fucking blind i live under a rock <laughs> yeah yeah which is why she blushes all the time and makes clothes it's very and it was fixed uh it was fixed in future volumes as it was corrected by having a scene note that tomoyo blushed around toya because he reminded her of sakura Aww. so we're all saved but yes I fucking love Tomoya. She's so cute. She takes her little video videos and uh she's so very sweet. She has to enter so one of those video cute. contests. Also, also, her little disguise in the final episode of this season <laughs> with like the yellow <laughs> outfit and the glasses with Caro is so based. All these outfits are great, by the way. I know we t- touched on it a little bit, but all of her outfits in specific like specifically are so good, dude. They're so cute. I, I like, can't. I can't talk up the outfits in the show enough. Like it's, literally, it's, it's seriously so impressive. Yeah, I'm. Guys, we've watched a lot of anime on this podcast. Sailor we, this Moon is a, number one hundred seven, <laughs> and 
Sailor this Moon card captor. Fucking Very good. Sh- 107. Yeah, Goddamn. Yeah. Yeah, dude. That's that was the number I said. But yes, mm-hmm. I love Tomoyo. She's super cute. She's super kind. I must protect at uh at all times. And you know, she's just a little, she's just cute and she makes the outfits. She makes the outfits. I love it. I yeah. love her. I can't blame That's you. She's pretty right. great. Now tell us who you what you really think. So, Mei Ling made me laugh more than Shout any out. other fucking character in this show. I I don't know what it is. Part of it's the facial expressions, golden, every single one of them, top tier. But I it's just great. She brings so much. She wants she tries so hard, but she's not magical. So she's not helpful at all. No. No. But, but she's it's fun. Great entertainment. Absolutely. I agree. Uh, I can't I can't really say anything. She's competitive, which is always nice to have. She can't cook. Voice is a little annoying, okay. but I think it's Neither fun. Neither can I. It's fun. Um also, the uh even though she's anime only, I feel like she really does a service to the show. Yeah. I it's, feel like yeah. she's, she's pretty iconic. important. Well, like I uh, I know in the future, uh she doesn't show up as much. Oh, no. Uh especially I think it was like after the movie. You can't um, say that, no. But but she does she does show up in like the movies and things like that. So okay, well, and I feel like, like she doesn't was... disappear. It just okay. leans closer to the manga, which obviously you kind understandable. Of have to yeah, right out. But and it's nice to have for the closest thing this show has to a main antagonist, other than like the cloak cards, which that you know, it doesn't really count. You know, you you need some or kind whoever, of whoever whoever that whoever that person is in the in front of the Tokyo Tower. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, but dude, that's bad that we don't know yet. You need, you know, it, I feel like it really helps balance things out with if you just had Lee filling that kind of role, he needs a sidekick. You know, that'd and be plus too it's much. Really yeah. funny watching him get bullied and like harassed by someone else. It just and because just that whole dynamic it's brilliant the dynamic's really it. good i feel like once again it like adds a lot to the show i really yeah. enjoy her as a character and i don't know she's fucking funny she is very and, funny you know it's you know a fun mix up having some yeah. uh, hong kong kids in the yeah. show i i love her she's fucking oh, yeah. hilarious talking about Kyle. Sure. Mr. Mr. Sorry, was it my turn? Pinot. Pinot. I was uh, lost in her eyes. Mommy. Kaho's eyes. Kaho's really fun. She's also really strong. She's a shrine maiden. And she got magical powers. Which really threw me for a loop when I realized she had magical powers. Her in the manga? Holy shit. Like, she looks pretty in the anime, but like, she is... I bet. I mean, art style for them. Like, even just, it, I, I bet. I just, I believe you. I have I no sent, reason I not to believe I sent two pictures. <gasps> I sent two full colored pictures in oh our chat God. so you can look at how pretty she is. Yeah. Gorgeous. She's Holy gorgeous. Shit. I'm telling Whoa. you, dude. Don't, I was, I'm not. Also, I can get you one in her normal uh, outfit. There you go. Gorgeous. <gasps> even better. She's. She's very pretty, but continue, uh, Pino. I love the classic. Uh, I love the classic anime hair like that. It's it's so good. I love. She I just love, needs glasses. I love the the classic of uh, of Pino picking uh, red haired anime. Is girl this red? No, way her teacher, hair's red. That, no way. Her teacher. No way. Her. No way. She's a, a teacher, teacher, dude. It's it's burgundy, brother. That's a shade of red. <laughs> no, that's burgundy, a that's a character. Brother. It's burgundy. That's Ron Burgundy. The wiki. The wiki says burgundy. It's Ron burgundy. And That's the, not a color. And in the manga, it's auburn. So that is red. Auburn. That is you can. Yeah. Auburn. Uh, auburn Plaza. Is that, you're you're just telling mm. me actors' names. Her hair's black. <laughs> it's not black. No, I meant Aubrey Plaza. Her hair is black. True. Anyways. Sorry for yelling. <laughs> God, that was awesome. She went to England to study, <laughs> and now she is smart lady. Now she's British. She's no, oh no, it's, it's Wednesday, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, but no, I I love her character. She's a mentor to just just about everybody. She cares for her students in a sus- suspicious kind of way. But I don't think she's I don't think she's evil. I didn't get the vibe. 
despite the anime trying to spin that tale. I think there's something else yeah. she's hiding, but uh, I honestly would could we not know, know what or care. Don't check the wiki. <laughs> I will not. Don't I don't want to get wiki. spoiled. Thank you, Pina. I'm I'm the one spoiling it. It's crazy. You know, you think and, you know somebody. Well, <laughs> I well, I got a lore anyway. I like her a lot. I don't have any complaints. She's very pretty. She's very cool and strong and epic. And also, Shrine made an outfit. Poggers. Absolutely. Oh. I die. Poggers. I melt. Guys, <sighs> guys, it's my time to talk about Sonomi, okay? Sure. Oh, go for She's it, She's so man. pretty. Also, it's fucked up how, like, all these characters are just beautiful. Yeah. Um. But she's great. I think she's so fun. Uh, I like that she has a connection to Sakura and like clearly loves her like as a, you know, as an aunt would. And like clearly because she was very protective of Sakura's mother. So she's also very protective of Sakura. And I love that about her. I think it's so sweet whenever she uh, she does all the things. And also a Really fun mom to Tomoyo, obviously, because she runs the fucking toys company. Um, which also, by the way, you know the phone that they use? Yeah. Um, that is from the the company. Like oh. the toy company. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. They manufacture toys and gadgets, which they also there's different gadgets in the uh in the manga. There's a uh there's a compact that uh basically it's a cell phone and a pager like it's here i'll send a picture of it but it's like a a compact mirror you know but on the Hmm. inside instead of a mirror it's a uh it's a little phone which is which was omitted from the anime it's crazy Hmm. but can't have technology this advanced it's true but yes in the in the anime all the cell phones are products of the company which is why uh tomoyo has it and gives it to like Caro and Sakura and Lee and things like that. So I think she's just very pretty, a very cool person, very sick, you know? I agree. Uh, I don't think we've ever agreed this much in a while. Hey, it's a good fucking anime. I like, there's good characters. I don't know what to, what to tell you. (laughs) Oh my goodness gracious. Gosh. Um, but now, guys, yeah. let's go check these emails. Yeah, oh, man, <gasps> emails. Email. Oh boy, howdy. Oh, boy, howdy. Um, okay. Uh, first one, titled, email, from Alex. Thank you for email. Alex. 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 Uh, this was sent, this was sent in January. Happy New Year's. That's it. That's the email. Oh, happy New Year's happy to you, year. too. Sorry, it's so late. <laughs> Sorry, it's so late. But, you know, it only took two months. I haven't uh, seen it hey. since last year. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh. Um, next person. Uh, next one. Oh, wow. Uh, with an email titled Award Show from Brady. Thank you, Brady. For Brady. The Brady says, if you could make your own new category for the Crunchyroll Anime Awards, what would it be called? And who do you think would win it? So... Wow, that's a tough awards. one. Cause I fucking forgot. It's got to be something like really stupid for me, like. Cause you're really stupid. Like who fucks the hardest? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Which one? No, it's true though. Which one fucks? And it would Which, be power. Is the answer? What, what ah, character I see. fucks? Oh, guys. By the way, uh, I don't know if we if if, if I'll get this up to time in our patrons at least. Uh, <laughs> so this is going to be late for anyone else, <laughs> but we might, uh, cause they're finally airing, uh, the anime awards again live. So oh. might stream it. We'll see. Uh, but if you're in the patron, you might've already seen it. Might have not, but I'm, I'm just, I just pulled up the, uh, the webpage for the anime awards. So I would remember what oh. categories they are. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I was thinking, have, I was like, like yeah. I don't know what categories they already well, cause, have. Cause you know, they have like best characters design, best original anime film score character and do they have they don't have best boy and best girl anymore that's fucked up that's Um, pretty crazy but then again they would always fucking pick deku and i'd be like why would you do that he sucks oh there's a there's a must protect at all costs character so that means that they're safe from legal implications 
Um, best slice of life. I'm going to be honest. I feel like that needs more recognition. I feel like the chill shows deserve more. So that's on brand with us too. Yeah, that's that's mine. If anyone else has anything, best no, 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 we don't need that manga chapter. You know, this best One Piece episode. So that one would go every year, and it would be the it would be the one where Luffy and uh, Yamato. Oh, fuck, Pino, have you seen that? Oh yeah, I mean, I've, who, are you, oh, who are you kidding? God. Who are you talking to, my friend? I'm just asking. It looks great. <laughs> I'm just Pido. Pido. I'm he, just saying. He forgets who he's talking to. I, I built this company. <laughs> and I could burn it down. Uh, you know, I think I... Ah, I'm on fire. I don't know. He's on fire. I'm a computer. Um, But yes. So thank you, Brady. I think that's a good one. And then... uh, Okay. Final one from Alex. Yippee. You sent this... <sighs> Like a month ago. I'm um, sorry. But anyway, uh, title says "Fuck You, Pina." Wow. Oh, <laughs> fuck you, I don't Pino. even. It doesn't sound like it's a game. It just kind of sounds like you said. <laughs> and then the 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 message says, "JK, if oh. you're reading this, y'all have finally recorded." Yes. Also, I hope the hiatus was enjoyable. Miss it, listening to y'all. Happy New Queer. I meant Happy year. Happy New Queer. Yippee. Happy New Queer. Okay, which one of you guys is the new queer? I'm the old queer now. <laughs> He's the aged queer. I'm aged like fine wine. <laughs> all, 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 all queers age like fine cheese. Cheese. Mm, <laughs> cheese. <laughs> cheese. But yes, thank you, Alex, for the email. I always, We always really appreciate getting these emails. Um, and remember, once again, I said this at the beginning, but funkyanimepodcast at gmail.com or contact at funkyanimepodcast.com that cool. is where you can contact us we'll read it out on the air if it's you know kosher well i don't care if it's kosher i just care if it's not gonna get me we can trouble censor or not. it it's fine yeah, it's true we can digest. Um, or i just or i just won't read it you know i have that power uh but yeah i mean i feel like this was really good oh yeah email us if you want to email us, uh, <laughs> email again with the email. email. Every yeah, week, every I hope it's from a female. Email. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. But yes, if, if, you, if you want to send us an email, uh, we'd love to hear from you. Remember, uh, before we go into our rankings and overall discussion of it, I would like to once again say thank you for being so patient with us over this hiatus. It means a lot to us. We do love doing this show. And so we thank you so much for listening. For getting this far and if you do want to support us financially obviously the best way to to help us grow is to just tell your friends tell people that hey listen to the show but you, you know, heard like, these fucking goof like like comment get a load of these guys <laughs> get a load of this own opening and endings get a load and of they this do filler guy. episodes they do they do it all we um, have funny voices but, yeah. sometimes i don't know share it uh <laughs> Share it with uh, Share it. your friends. Share it. <laughs> Sorry. But also, Share if you do, do, <laughs> do want to help support us financially, we are on Patreon once again. That's patreon.com slash three we bros. We'd love to have you. One dollar a month, you can get access to our Patreon, which we literally do live reactions of. Um, We all do the live reactions as we go, and we have archived, uh, archived chats. Of our reactions to every anime we've watched since Medica Box. Which, by the way... That's the, crazy. Uh, first message in that was May 30th, 2021. So you can go back basically two Hot years man. of content to see us reacting and memeing on it. So yeah. if you'd like to, good deal. Uh, $5 a month, you can help pick Best Grill. And $10 a month, you get to pick the anime whenever we do this. So... I would once again like to thank our ten dollar patrons. You guys are really the best. You make this show work. Um, and everyone else is pretty cool. Everyone too. else is based. Even yeah. if you well, just I send mean, an email, that's pretty I, cool. Yeah. yeah even if you email. comment on the YouTube page, I, yeah, I, no, I literally thumbs them up. any any Aww. any any engagements, good engagement. So thank you so much again. And so now, no engage uh, with the Twitter now. Thoughts, <laughs> Sorry. Over <laughs> overall thoughts before we go into rankings. It's good. Anyone else? Is good. Is good. I hope I don't disappoint you. I'm gonna be sad when you give it like a zero. <laughs> um, I don't know. Oh, just a super fun show. I really enjoyed it. It had a great time, uh, and I'm excited to watch more, probably on my own in the future, because I'm not gonna probably pick it again for this season. But 
Um, hi, Flora. The other cat's here now. Um, Gato. Gato. Uh, Gato. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. I had a really nice time watching, and I hope you guys did as well. Yeah. Also, anyone at home. If you did, email us. Uh, I think we're ready. I know. Oh, are we, uh, are we, st- what, are we starting? Do you want to go? Wow. Are you I, starting the recording the episode? Are we, are I can't we, believe it. I thought, we, I, I, thought this was all, I thought this was all practice. <laughs> Yeah, I thought I thought this this is actually all the intro bit, and then I'm gonna run the and then I'm gonna run the opening. That's crazy. That's has not truly has not been the opening. I've been watching it. It's stuck in my head again. It's true. It's been that's fair at least. This is the one time I'll cut you slack for that. I can't remember our current one. Yeah, see that's I can't remember our current one. I can't believe I wrote the fucking thing. Fake fans. Sorry, fake fans. Yeah, see the Pino. The last time that was an opening was October seventeenth, two thousand and eighteen. Hey, you know it feels just like yesterday. It's been four and a half years. It feels just like oh, yesterday. Stop it! You're making my hair gray. <laughs> You're making my back hurt. It's gray. <laughs> my back hurts. The sun's too bright, and my booty shakes from the left to the right. <laughs> um, before, but anyway, before our, yeah, I'll go. Do you want to um, go first? This was a this was a surprising show. I uh, I'll be honest. I was just like you know I'm gonna be grumpy because I'm an old man and I don't like change. It's true. You are. But I like yeah, I hate I, slice of life. I hate slice he of hates. life. But I love me some card capture Sakura. Uh, very fun. Hit me in the feels when I didn't expect it. Uh, lovable characters. Overall, great design. Great music. Um, I'm. What did I give Berserk? Sorry, I need to four. make sure I, a four. You gave Berserk a four. Gave Berserk. Yes. A, if gave I gave Berserk a four, D, and you um, gave initial D four point five, just to got you. Uh, this this is be- I I just because I want to be happy. Better than Berserk, yes. And True. it had, it's going to be higher than Berserk, but it's also going to be the same as uh, initial D. I'm gonna give it a four point five. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. It's fun. It was fun. I like it. I yeah, don't have any complaint. A- I quite literally can't complain. <laughs> <laughs> wow. My 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 only complaint is that Maylin Lee is not in the manga. That's yeah, yeah, my that, yeah, complaint. yeah. But that that's no fault of the anime. It's yeah. our fault. Grundle Max. I'm gonna. This is an easy five. Wow. Base. Easy five. Haven't even finished it yet. <laughs> nope. Okay. But just just that first season. Just that first season. It's good. Dude. It is. It is a phenomenal time. Halle- I, hallelujah. <laughs> What really weighs <laughs> my song. ratings is how much you can recommend a show. Yeah. And this is one that I feel I could recommend to most people who are mm-hmm. generally interested in anime. I mean, as long as you're not a little butthead who's like, I need to have burly anime men. I need yeah. to have anger and I need to watch. Well, there's anger. There is anger. Well, yeah, but not anger. <laughs> there's there's anger. Yeah. He's Angie. He's a little <laughs> gremlin. He's Angie. Angie. Um, but yeah, five. Yeah, that's real. I'm gonna give yeah. it a four point five as well. Just like I'm not. I'm gonna cut the bullshit. It's phenomenal show. I might bump it up more if the movie and the the next season's really good. But like, I super enjoyed it. You know, despite my big hiatus in the middle of it, like I generally thought it was a super fun time, super unique, even in the magical girl genre. Uh, definitely beats out uh, Madoka Magica for me. I don't know if it beats out Sailor Moon. It might. I the like, thing is okay. So this is this is kind of what I've been building up to this whole time. Yeah, he's build building up, this the Sailor Moon thing. Let him cook. Is yeah. that it's it's kind of unfair to Sailor Moon because it was yeah. done by Toei. This well, is it's, honestly it's, a much better show. But but also the thing that is also fucked up is that Sailor Moon created the modern day magical girl genre that's just Fair. how it is and card capture sakura came out after it and perfected and the formula and uh, yeah like it's so good they took what worked took what didn't use the monster of the week while still keeping it uh children's fresh. show with a slice of life keeps it fresh keeps it engaging even though it's not super in your face it's great i like once again like pino said don't have any complaints and like I think it's such a good time. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, oh, also, Joan just came in and told me I was spitting facts. So Facts. Joan, bars. Let's go. Yeah, They're bars. right. They're but right. Yes. 
I'm glad they gave you the validation we need. (laughs) Of course. I know. Joan Joan came in right at the last minute to hear us only to rain down praise on it. So it's fair. Um, But yeah, card capture, phenomenal. Like once again, if you're still here and you haven't watched it, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, get out. Leave. Go home. I don't want you here. Podcast over. Watch the anime. (laughs) Get out. Get out. You won't be disappointed. You won't. You truly won't be disappointed. I like dub sub like it's great i i love it it's so fun and if then, we were able to gush about this show for two fucking hours then it's true it's something it's truly magical it is truly <laughs> i get a magical girl um <laughs> hey now that we've ranked it uh miss miss your pinot what we watching next buddy what are we watching next <laughs> silly little friend well, I thought you'd never ask. We're going to uh, delve into one of uh, my all-time favorite series. Uh, we're going to go ahead and visit uh, Lupin the Third, Part 1. Uh, yeah! This will be the first time I'm watching it, too. I did watch Episode 1. Um, for all your preconceived notions of Lupin, go into this one with an open mind. This will be the most different. So we'll see how well, this you've goes. You've watched other Lupin. I've, yeah. yeah, this will be the most different from all, almost all of them. So just get get ready for get ready for something. I don't know what, but get ready for something. I know jack shit about Lupin, so I know a bit. This will be awesome. Lupin. All right, I, well, I'm looking forward yeah, to uh, it's, disappointment. <laughs> it's 23 episodes, <laughs> and it was made in 1971. So Nin- tamper your what? expectations. 1971, yes, yes sir. Ooh, this is a real old one. It was I'm, actually I'm looking forward um, to this. Uh, Miyazaki actually was a key animator and an episode director. So yeah, shit, you could, there's a lit, like I think it's episode 15. I, I'll I'll look up and tell you guys. And I'll tell in you the Patreon. I'll also tell you right Patreon. now. Tell you right now. Part one is the closest iteration of Lupin to his manga counterpart. Everything else is not. So that's what I'm going to say. Thank you. Also, uh, just for uh, Garblax, who doesn't know, uh, Lupin the Third was made by Monkey Punch. Yeah, Monkey Punch. His (laughs) name is Monkey Punch. (laughs) Monkey. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Uh, But yeah, we're watching that. 23 episodes. The dub's very silly. The dub's oh, very silly. Oh, you'll recognize some of the dub voices. You'll see. Oh, yeah, cool. no. It's it's great. And it's lucky, great. luckily, uh, part one recently got dubbed, like, sometime this year or a little bit last year. So. Oh, really? Yeah, they never they never dubbed it until, like, recently, so that's good. Oh, well, that's that's Why? good, then. Absolutely. Great. I'm going to watch the dub, then. Mm-hmm. Um, Me, too. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, guys, closing thoughts. We did that. I'm a rat. He's a rat. Double Patreon, rat. social la, media. Pe- la rata Pino's, guys, Pino's doing things on the Twitter. I forgot Twitter.com slash three Libras. That's fine. No one, it's fine. Just post tomorrow. Yeah. You'll put some shorts on. Put some shorts on. Eat, eat my anyway. shorts. Eat my pants. Eat my, eat my pants. But yes, Pent. I loved watching this. And just like any good. But magical anime girl i'm now going to use my magical powers to turn this book into a man Whoa! what it's, the fuck this ew this ew this is fleshy what you're a man is, now ew. get this no make, turn me back do you I like wanna skin be, i want to be white do you enjoy again. having skin no i'm gonna make you a mouse instead and, no. ah! you, and now you're a mouse that's, that's it. weird that's that that mouse can't say. talk that's kind of crazy it's true oh. hey, what, do I, what do i get turned into rat bro? guy no, you're just still a rat. You, you son That's of a bitch, you get back here. No, no, now he's a mouse. He's Yeah, I've transformed him slightly into a mouse. My tail! It's, it's true. Well, yeah, you know, it's a little bearable, I guess. It was a little heavy. Thank you. Um, And I'm Chuck. We did it all. <laughs> we did it. Uh, Guys, we did it. Funky Anime Podcast. Remember uh, Share it. to tell your mom you love her. Uh... Yeah, and tell your mom you love her. Especially it? applicable in this episode. In this episode, dead mom. Absolutely. Shoot, I, I, I'm a, uh, I was, I was gonna say I'm gonna tell my mom and give her a hug, but uh, <laughs> she's a little sick right now with the, uh, um, <laughs> with the COVID. 
So, oh, no. Uh, oh, no. I'll FaceTime her. Oh, I'm sorry, Pino's mama. Yeah. Oh, no, Pino's mama. Feel better. Soon. She's feeling much um, better. I'm, her attitude is, 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 is real good about it, so... You know. Ratitude? You mean the you mean the, the Ratatouille? Oh user? my bad, bro. <laughs> no, Ratitude. R A D. Oh, rat. Oh, I see, rat. man. Ratitude. Yeah. Oh, I got you. Yeah. Rat. Anyway, uh, tell me, mom, your lover. This has been the Funky Eight Podcast. Thank you for listening, and you uh, we will see you next time. Stay fapping. Bye, me. Yeah.